Yes, you're gonna have to help me carry that anvil. Um... <laughs> oh, there, there is no carrying that anvil. That anvil's getting teleported. Okay. Uh, also, I have a kiln. Uh, like a, a small kill. Where did Omnius? Where was Omnius at at the end of last so we game? Can, we can melt metal, metal now. Uh, I don't think I was with you guys. I no, think I fucked no. off. Yeah, yeah you. Out of there. <gasps> I know where I am. I rem I told oh. Araxis. I told you where I was. Yeah. Yeah, you're in Dorn. No, Dorn. you. He, Dorn. He's in Dorn. Dorn. Yeah. Yeah. No. So sorry. Wrong on both I, counts. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I remember. Uh, don't worry, once we have a moment of downtime, I will find out. Oh, um, <laughs> I'm gonna bugger off. Yeah. I thought I you guys were yeah? Easy. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> by the way, random question, Rock, how... what time is it for you right now? Um... Two in the afternoon, plus Okay, one six hours of delay, okay. So pretty much, when I get up tomorrow, I can wish you a happy birthday. Hey. Oh my god! Okay. Same, dude. Same. Dude. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to you. Uh, random question. Uh, Let's say here we celebrate the stupid hats and plastic plates. The fact that you were able to make another trip around the sun. Uh, Germany is like almost cursed to wish someone a happy birthday before their actual, actual birthday. Wow. Mm. Listen, guys, it's appreciated. The sentiment is appreciated. But I ain't being old. Okay. I can't get away with it. Fine. Fine. In that case, let me just retract my statement then. Fuck off. <laughs> no, please. I want your attention. Uh, I want all your attentions. Uh, Happy Notice birthday me, Senpai. To you. <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah. Being old sucks because you can't get away with as much as you. Can. I think in being this, old. It, I think in this. Excuse me. I think in this group you're the second youngest. Uh, no, I'm Lester. the youngest, and that's yeah. without a doubt. And I'm 24. I'm 24 as well. <laughs> Fuck Listen, you guys. I'm a 30 year old man. I look older than than I should. Okay. Not really. My mother looks younger than me. Huh. I might be the oldest, hey, maybe. Ma, Depends on still, Omnis. Like, even with your gray hairs, you still look younger than me. <laughs> you don't have a beard and a mustache. I do. Well, oh, who, who's, who's now? By the way, we're live, Rog. Oh. <laughs> yeah, we're live. You didn't hear that. Uh... Solid start. <laughs> Yeah, session 49, fuck. Ah, fuck. My mom's funny. Huh? Okay. Party, party. Uh, Alright, how do I get you to leave? What? Get out. Uh, on this. The fuck? While we're at I it, on um, this, what age be ye? Me? Yeah. I be 30. 31, matey. Oh, what the fuck? I'm the second old? youngest, then. Ugh. Hey, look at that. Or second oldest. Like yes. I'm an old man <laughs> compared to you young whippersnappers. <laughs> and I don't want to hear any of you trying to give me any fucking guff about it, either. Calm down there, Omnius. We, you, you you're missing your men. I'm old master Roku, and I'm gonna get me some bitches. <laughs> And you go get That's actually pretty solid. Bitches. I can't keep up with that anymore. My hips don't move that way. Uh, Hello there, sweetie. Oh, God. Don't mind if I do. Uh, okay. Back in my day, they used to call me Chad Thundercock. They <laughs> called me Mr. Bones and Thundercock, thank you. Okay. Yeah, and... <laughs> anyway, <laughs> welcome to. Hey, Shani. That is on tape. Okay. Welcome, welcome. To... Hey, here's the best part. Every time we we need to annoy Rob, we can always just play that back. What? <laughs> yeah.
Yeah. yeah. I'm so, gonna get that on a fucking soundboard. So what? yeah. So let's just say let's just say Rog you over the Yeah, Rog, over the past uh fifty like forty nine sessions or uh thirty two sessions no yeah thirty two sessions that have been recorded and posted there's a lot of clips that are you just questionable by you which can yes. be of everyone there's like yes clips of everyone so where's the blood sacrifice or the beans I'm waiting Oh, that's right. I need to send you a picture. Hold on, hold on, hold on. A thousand clips before I give you anything. B. Be... Uh, be... just so you know, it's already on the way. I'm just, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, Rog. I don't need, I don't need any beans from you. I'm already taking the supply from you. What? Yeah, I'm already taking your it's supply. Not for you to decide. Exactly. Stole yeah. Beans. Bitch, you stole my beans. <laughs> beans up inside your house. Find it at entrance where they can. Oh. Through your eyes, through your tummy, through your asshole, beans. Ow. Ow. Dr. <laughs> Pepper Beans. <laughs> <laughs> I saw Bucket. them at work. By the way, that's what psychic damage looks like. Oh. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh my god. Beans, beans, beans. <laughs> Beans, 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 fucking hive mind. Oh boy, it's it always has to start with E. It always has to start with. No, but my ADHD works just as well. Oh fuck. Can confirm as somebody who both has ADHD and does drugs. Hell yeah! <laughs> Hell and yeah. suddenly it all makes I sense. You grew it. I forgot you grew your own. <laughs> no, he does not. No, he, he does. He, he does not. <laughs> okay, he he smokes a bunch of herbs so he can go back in time. And guess what he calls it? We oh, time travel. Ah. <laughs> uh. God, I just got that. But um, but um. Oh God, that was good. <laughs> horribly good. I, I I feel like in real time my brain cells are losing. <laughs> yeah, it's you like, feel them slowly dying. It's off. A, it's like that's fucking. No, I just it, dropped the bet. One of the best dad joke bombs. It's it's like yeah. that fucking uh, solution that melts concrete lecture. Like, it's just melting my brain. Just... Yeah. It actually fucking hurts. Holy god. Oh. Anyway, session 49, the third time. Enough. So. So, so, so. Yeah, damn. Okay. Ah, damn, I fucking hit him. Ah. Hold up. Recalibrating. <laughs> okay. So. A time travel joke. Destroyed his brain. Ah, uh, session 49. I think it was the beans. You all lived. Must have been. And all of you are level 13? Yes. Hell oh, yeah. Still. Yes. Hell yeah. No! For I have the seventh level spells. That means 13. So, yeah. No, so. Question, everybody! Are y'all ready to fuck around and find out today what's going on? We got one more minute. It's gonna be really interesting. I have. Uh, I am in. Cool. So, but that being said and done, you pillage the fucking city. Got a lot of shit. Got a new fucking drug lord fucking ship that was. Specifically crafted for drug lords in South America. Uh, so, uh, Omnius didn't didn't end up doing too well in the island as uh, the the fabricator of the the tiny the tiny little companions that you were accompanying all of you uh, indicated that Omnius has something and it doesn't really like it and basically decided to. 
uh, not make Omnis very welcome at that point. And also started the count a lot faster. And of course, everybody got their own shit. Lecter got a bunch of engineering blueprints. Raw got a bunch of cooking stuff. Squishy went on the fucking food bench like nobody ever seen before. Uh, Ken... Ken got a fucking lot of weaponry. And, uh, yeah, Omnius, uh, out of hatred for the realization that Red Hands was behind all of this, tried to go to Norn and eventually did and regain his Atlas project, his fucking, uh, B network. So, the final minutes ticked down, the fabricator uh, to the ship was made, and you all said, away but before that before the final aisle disappeared electric vision darkened and he heard a voice he never heard before in his mind telling that you cannot escape his faith and everything eventually comes to an end before his fucking eye got broke one of his eyes just basically got destroyed and le leaving him with only one eye so with that being said and done what would you like to do? Make sure that you read the messages that I just sent you, and oh. then carry on. Oh. Uh, Maneuvering further away from mm -hmm. the incident space and just one too far enough away, I would try to get into contact with uh, uh, the boat. Made it. Ken. I am looking towards the ship that is leaving. The island that has just disappeared. Currently covering your entire horizon. Mm -hmm. Depending on how close it is. No! Yeah, can, I, can I see a lector from here? Like from the, from the wooden ship? Is, is, are, are, they, are we just right beside each other? Raxus? Ah? Uh -huh. Are both ships next to each other? Yeah, after some time you eventually regroup. Okay, so where does go? Where goes where? I have a uh, refrigerator that I think would go well on the other ship. Looks, this looks just as fancy. I need to find an image. <clears throat> Actually, uh, just so you know. The ship you, uh, the new ship is five times bigger, and like the place that um, Pablo and I are currently at is like uh, a completely separate room. So we are inside of a room, most likely like at least ten meters higher. Yeah, yeah, it's a fucking massive thing, and the only way to get from like one ship to another ship is basically using the rails, like uh, the ladders that are kind of built into the sides. I found the image. Wonderful. Uh, you think I could hear us? It's on there. Can the floating disc <laughs> carry stuff upwards? How much can the floating what? disc take? So. Hmm. Well done. I assume actually getting. The cargo from one ship to another would be complicated. Difficult. Um, can we station the ship around here, Pablo? Huh? Like, is there some kind of anchoring system? Uh, he kind of he kind of starts the ship he, he kind of start the transfer. Kind of starts unless something. we specifically need a, a form of island for this. Um... Yeah, something like this should work as he starts pressing your buttons. And, uh, yeah, you just. <laughs> you all see from one of the sides, uh, uh, just a gun turret shows up <laughs> from, like, the rest of you. And you see the, the gun turret just immediately just uh, starts building, like, a harpoon at the end, and it just fucking pierces the ship that you're on. <laughs> what are you doing there? Anchoring. Did, 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 did the big ship just pierce the little one? Well, pierce like, uh, like, uh, not, not like, just pierce the main, uh, 
main deck and got it very close. What the fuck? Harpoon, <laughs> boarding harpoon, my dude. Oh, so. Oh, oh wait, I'm not there. Sorry. We we can climb that, right? So, how are we gonna do this? Hmm. Hmm. <clears throat> we. Do we have some ladders? I, look at Jack. Jack. We also have ghosts that can yeah, carry but... stuff. Can, cool. they, can they just float up there? Is there racks of, like having a call on the side or something? Ah? Huh? Are you listening <laughs> to the conversation? Yeah, I have a different conversation. <laughs> ah, fuck. So, focus on the game, standard rule. Yeah, uh, me just asked Jack if we have a ladder. Uh, no, but I mean, there is a ladder that basically is attached to the bigger ship, like, you know, one of those, like, side ladders. Okay. I think I mentioned that. I, I, I think I'm just gonna start stockpiling. Okay. I, I'm just gonna climb uh, the other ship, and I'm gonna go uh, find Lecter. Lecter! This Lecter! Is, you just see, hear something distant, just see yelling your name, Lecter. Will you be fine um, up here without me for a moment? What? You could just kind of nod. Keep the ship steady. Lecter! <laughs> <laughs> I'd be doing my best to find him. Ten minutes later. Twenty. Thirty. No, just kidding. An hour. Like the weather. Oh! Oh! Um, oh! Hey! Yeah, so, we still have to get used to this. Yeah, this is a really big fucking ship. Yes. So, where do I put all the stuff? Because I think I'm going to have to do a couple of, uh, we're going to have to do a couple of rounds to get everything off the, the tiny ship now. So, um, that is a good question. Uh, I have a copy of uh, the ship schematics on my data pad, right? Yes. Can I use that as like a like a map, pretty much, to try to remember myself? Uh, I mean, looking looking ar around, there is like a whole fucking not not only like there's there's like a there's everything about the ship, like a bit of history, uh, oh, with is, materials. Is there a is there a wall map like uh, you know in those schools? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There, there's all the fucking floors. But um, yeah, wow. there's there's in total eight floors. Uh, yeah. yeah. And basically, there's like a, I guess the main floor, which is the main deck. Then there's one above, uh, that is like, uh, I guess the ladders that goes up and down. And then there's one up that is the like control pad for. Like the engine and all that, and then going below, it's uh, it starts like the different types of rooms. So you know the the housing, the the restaurants, the bars, the recreation area. Then the uh, like, the like four floors are just half of the half of the four floors are basically just one large cargo area. Then then it's like. Uh, uh, like the drug lab, the utility, and then of course the crew course at the very bottom. Have we? Do we know what modern toilets look like? Uh. I have a feeling that that's. I be might. A funny one. Ken does. The three C show. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for going there. <laughs> <laughs> Devil man reference or demolition man. Demolition Man, yeah. yeah. That is such an underrated class. Yeah, yeah. God, such... I just remembered. I don't know what you're talking about. It's a really classic, like... It's Sylvester movie, Stallone it's and Wesley Snipes. <laughs> That's all you need! Uh, I don't know, actors. Oh, Demolition Man. What? Yeah, isn't that... Isn't that the, the, like, a, the, what? Oh! 
He just found it. Oh no! Oh. Ew. Not further questioning that. So, um, I assume using like the available maps, we would be able to find some bigger storage area, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's uh, all basically um, if say uh, for, there's like two floors above and eight below, and basically the first two floors go all across the ship, and then uh, it splits in half, and the four floors in one side, the half side is just one big cargo hold, and the rest are just like uh, minor stuff. Well then, I'd say we have the space to put our stuff in. I just imagine like literally multi-layer storage, uh, giant space. Yeah. It's all like, empty, on, it's yeah, all it's echoey. Every storage. single step you take, it just there's just an echo. Just emanates from yeah. all the fucking place. It's empty as hell. Yeah, I just posted something in memes. I just imagined that, but empty. Uh, yeah, kinda. That, that's pretty much that's how Maybe tall this. Yeah. So, I say this uh, place has got some potential. Oh, it's just remember, everything you say inside the ship, like actually not outside inside, it's just echo. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, we need some stuff here. There's not enough to absorb echo. Oh, echo. speaking of, echo. I should start dropping all the shit we have from the bags. You have enough space over here. <laughs> yep. 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 Uh, Maybe at one point we can get a gymnasium in here. You know, some uh, weights you don't need and to. stuff. You don't need to, actually. If I saw this correctly... Why, why gymnasium? We could literally store a dragon here. Um, yes. Wonderful. Uh, based on what you told us uh, at the end of the last session, yeah. this ship already has a gym, right? Yes, yes. It, it, you made a list, so you can... I may have a... yeah. Not heard that part. <laughs> you wouldn't know that. Yeah. It's time. Um, well, Rog, you. you no, I'm talking more them. about I was probably an AFK. I, I think I'm that. gonna ask Jean to help me out with his ghosts. I, I start jogging back to the outside because walking would take too long. And return to the ship to do that. How much are you moving over? Everything? Everything that, you know, we could just have here instead of just clogging up the small ship. Oh. Dragon parts included. The dragon parts will be going down on the uh, so, newer ship. As the great, uh, but the quick uh, transition of items from one ship to another happens. Uh, what are, like, like, because everybody is grabbing fucking, um, <laughs> Zan just grabs all the fucking weird that he pillaged, all the gold, all the silver, all the shiny gems, and, uh, goes with him, uh, but all the rest of you. I'd be exploring the ship, just looking through what's already there. I'll find, uh, yeah, I'm gonna be, uh, exploring the ship, trying to see if there's any personal quarters and all that stuff seeing if there's a place well find uh, if the workshop if there is a place so, for a workshop uh, how do i say this the first two floors uh are basically like large open areas of a restaurant and all that and there's like uh how do i say this some parts of it have like actual rooms that just lead to like a massive bedrooms like a single massive bed in the middle a bunch of like stuff that you assume is a massive bedroom but all the like besides like a bed in the middle there's just a mattress there's nothing else in there it's like nice carpeted uh, warm room but there's literally nothing else there's actually there's interesting enough like you look from outside there's no windows from outside but you just look and you see like a view just of the ocean We'll have to be explored nice. as well. <clears throat> so much new technology, completely overwhelmed. How much time did the uh, great move take? Or 
Is it still in progress? Yeah, yeah, it's in progress. I'm just saying if anybody wants to do while everybody's moving, because mm. nobody's gonna, like, go and... I'm looking for a place to put my personal belongings and then a place to put the other guns, which would have ultimately become the Tinkerer's workstation. There is a big workshop area, so I would assume ah. we would put that. Like, it would be a good place uh, to put okay. that. Intended to be um, originally a drug lab, based Did on it? this ship's original purpose. I think the, the page erased the person. The, didn't I uh, get myself a few uh, strong metal bars? Mm -hmm. Like, strong metals? Axis from the yeah. cube thing. From the cube. Oh yeah, strong man. No, because you didn't get a reference to what you were looking for. Because you you kind of stop on that. Yeah. Well, that's sad. Oh well, I still have the kill. <laughs> Finally, something to melt metal with. Uh, I would actually send you a message once uh, Ken and I find the uh, workshop area. I just love that Squishy's like, everybody, gather all the stuff in, and Squishy just looks at the food. Yes. Squishy! Don't eat everything! <laughs> Gotta keep some for the cooking! Also, Squishy, did you see the cookbook? Pretty sure I took a few cookbooks. Well, what I assume are cookbooks. Ate those as well. Did Squishy actually did eat them? No, no, Squishy knows what books are. Uh, doesn't Does mean that they know how to read them that well. Um, she just knows that cookbooks are stuff that makes food even more delicious. And that's it. But uh, I know where they went! I mean... yeah? Like a history check? Wait, <laughs> like you, where you put them? Yeah. No, they're in the boat. Like, plenty of stuff. Like, there's, like, eventually all of you, your stuff that you gathered because the ship was pretty heavy. Uh, oh, wait, from... there they are. And I, just, <laughs> I was about to say, like, they kind of just turned towards the boat. <laughs> yeah, no, no, it was in this pile. Why are we keeping stuff in pile? We need to sort this out. Yeah, probably job for later. So, anybody else got something while we're doing that move? I'm expecting everything else. See if we got working water. Uh, working water? Uh, you trying to find like there's like uh, bathrooms in the. Bit, like in the rooms but also like public uh bathrooms and all of them have running water and you taste it it's fresh water you know you know what would be smart if they use seawater for the bathrooms like i mean you can try to take a sip out of the toilet but i, <laughs> I mean yeah, there's no, there's definitely taps. not doing that there, there, you, you, uh, Using this salt water for the bathroom and just washing for the stuff you don't. No, no, no I said it's it is fresh water. What are you? Everything's fresh water. Yeah, like I told you. Well, we're not gonna test the toilet, but. <laughs> I mean, why do you want to test the toilet? No, I'm not. I, I mean, if you want to, Rog, more I, I power to you. I mean, let's be I, honest. The toilet was literally never used. It's literally just fabricated. <laughs> like I. Don't give it reason, I'm not doing it anyway. Oh. This looks like Still, a... interesting conversation. What is this room? Oh, it's a mirror. Yeah. I guess I'll gotta clean the uh, wash up later. Yeah. What's that in my just find some bits and pieces in his beard. How long has that been there? Holy shit! For roughly uh three weeks. Are you serious? You just like they're walking past uh, the bathroom that he's currently in. And you never told me! Really? Like there's already gone. God, stop. Like, oh, dang it. He was just carrying some stuff around. <laughs> I'm currently helping Ken with the move. Uh, oh, uh, 
I can't poke my head While up. we do it, we're going to go and... <laughs> I'm going to be asking all the questions like, where's X and such and all that stuff. We need maps. For like scan. Lots, it's lots like, I'm one of these those schematics so I can get more attuned with this boat. <laughs> I mean, uh, oh. there is basic maps. Um, as far as I know, there's like flat wall maps uh, around, so we have at least some orientation uh, that's just printed on the Ones walls. with arrows saying, you are here. Yeah. <laughs> Be, if you go to the, like, uh, I guess the uh, the captain's, uh, like, the overview of the whole ship, like, where you started the engines and all that, there's, like, a live map that is, like, uh, you would assume just looking at, like, the overall, like, it's a bird's eye view, and you assume there's a few miles of like surrounding air that it just like kind of cracks, and there's like in every direction you look, there's just ocean. That looks certainly interesting. I just imagine that Pablo's just watching us, just having no clue what the fuck's going on. Uh, no, he actually just kind of sh is just chilling in the chair, very tired looking. And just looks at the thing that he took from Primus. Yeah. <clears throat> so, Lecter. Yes. While you're over there, it's all getting cloudy. Anything happen over there? Um. Some misfunctions. I'm pointing to the eye that's currently shut off. Oh, I oh, guess I, I guess I need to notify you, Ken, with something. Uh, so you see that the like from Electra's perspective, it's, it like you know you don't see anything from your perspective. What you see is basically, um, like uh, imagine if like uh, Electra's eye was just like a crystal, like a, a singular solid gem. You see, it just like cracked in so many like. Like it's not a single crack or something, but it's like 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 fully cracked window, like a Mar window. It's like just. So if we smack him behind the head, it's gonna pop out. Maybe. Don't test. I'm not thing. inclined to <laughs> testing that. I, that was out of game, but uh, that means yeah, it course. couldn't be replaced. Maybe. Possibly awesome. we can Maybe get you. Let's see about getting you a new one if you like. I mean, I can get in contact with the Platinum Season and most likely get it replaced. Oh, fair enough. So, Ominous, can you roll me investigation? Oh, apologies. I was finally getting my character sheet up and running. Uh huh. I had to have my roommate send it to me. Oh, my investigation's one point higher than I had rolled before. Wow. That's pretty good. I'm getting... Also, don't mind, don't mind the ominous. He's just doing investigation of his own. He might call for help real soon, though. <laughs> um, yeah, depending on how things are going, yeah, we'll just have to see. Yeah. Actually, I'll ask you about that. How are things going? Am I getting a lot of unusual looks? Because I'm not trying to, you know. Uh, there's a lot of looks. A lot of fucking people are curious. And you're definitely getting the attention of the guards. Fair enough. And none of you know why. I... I will try my best to find out, then. Suspicious <laughs> of you. I'm very <clears throat> suspicious of you. I would, uh... Like, once we, uh, finish up with the moving and, uh... Like, in some kind of, like, moment of downtime, uh, I would move to the suites. Like you said, there were like yeah, yeah, uh, multiple. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, is anyone following me there? Uh, oh, oh. everybody's busy just setting in, unless like you ask mm -hmm. someone to join in you. Well, okay. Hey, look, before we do that, mind if I take one of the bigger ones? Because I feel like there's going to be two per for me. Two rooms for you specifically? No, two, two occupants in one room. Ah, um, I mean, we have a total of 20 rooms uh, of this size available. So uh, it should be fine for you to reserve two of those next to each other. 
Uh, I just kind of like these rolls. Like, so give me so on this or not on this, uh, Eric, something like that. Uh, something you like can fit what? the 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 beds there. They're big. They're I very. Since they're switz. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Imagine, imagine All like right. a good, like a uh, very massive bed in the middle, like uh, fuck a, like I guess like it's like, like they're a, sizable rooms, very sizable. Very rooms, right? sizable, very. Okay. Shouldn't be a problem then. Yeah, I can still arrange those two rooms next to each other. Um, uh, first of all, right. I would like to go into the room, uh, into the rooms now to take a general look at quality and some of the space and while i'm there i would like to at least reserve my room so if you want to i can also uh note down your rooms as well okay i assume one for you one for lena you could say that or do you want to share a room that's completely up to you probably we'll probably end up sharing let's be honest <laughs> in that case i will for now at least uh notes both of you on the same room. Yeah. Oh, I, 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 I actually need knows. to. I need to a moment to stand and just walk for a second. Give me a second. <laughs> <Just fine. laughs> Anyways, oh. I'm just excited about what the fuck am I? Is Rod gonna do once he has an actual room? Also, Lecter, like, while we're at it, in, away from prying eyes, are we ever gonna ask what the hell happened over there that caused the uh, countdown to go faster? I'm slightly concerned about it, and I assume it somehow has something to do with all the years. It was gone for That's a while. That's what I'm thinking, and, uh, so at uh, some point we might have to figure it out. Oh. Oh boy. Uh, so Omnius, remember how I said there was a guy trying to dox me? Or Oh, they're after you still? <laughs> yeah, they literally made the actually the same fucking copy paste. <laughs> ah, ah, hilarious. Can't you just, can't, can't you just uh, I don't care. I don't care. They're fucking like well, I don't give a shit who they are. They're I fucking wrong. Just... So what 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 did I miss? Nothing. Uh, uh, just a, nothing some okay. minor banter. Fair, fair. I'm going to try and put that uh, mythic craft to use. Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm trying to look for Ken though. Ken yells from the other side of the ship. Yeah, it's it, it just like if you yell loud enough, like the whole <clears> echo just, echoes just yeah. Where the fuck oh my god, it's haunted! <laughs> <laughs> No, it's fucking uh, not! You just hear an echo. The, ship are you in? <laughs> the fancy place stole the beds! Beds! Okay, let me beds. get to <laughs> Stop shouting in my head! Hurts! 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 Sorry! <laughs> Shut the fuck up! <laughs> up! 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 I'm gonna go towards the beds area. Yeah. Okay. I could man. genuinely just send a, a thunder wave down. <laughs> no, no. Fucking shockwave. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Uh, yeah. So. Okay. I'm thinking we need some s decorations for the Wait, walls where's the, at where's the pit. Where's the Where's the crafting place? Do you, you guys use it already? Found. I found the place. Put a bunch of more stuff in it. Doesn't look. Is it operational, or would it seem to have been oh, operational? Yeah, operational too. about what? The the workshop area. Uh, the workshop area is completely fucking empty. Like it's. Yeah, we gotta we gotta, gotta build our own. We gotta there. get our own stuff. It's yeah, not no, quite operational yet. Yeah, the workshop was meant for drug production. <laughs> it's empty. It's the yeah. It's the wrong type of. Yeah, we need to actually get, once we get to shore, to Norm, we'll go ahead and make it all nice, spick and spam, ready for ah, use. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, listen, uh, is, yeah. is Lecter right there too? Uh, I didn't so, leave yet. Okay, 
Yeah. Thank you. Is there a place I could put this skill at? I really want to try making some stuff now that I have the actual thing to melt metal with. Also, uh, I'm, uh, anybody That's can one... help me with the anvil? I think I can. Um, so you've been carrying it's... both those things this whole time? No, the no, anvil's no, still no. on the ship. Yeah, the anvil's on the ship. Uh, yeah. um, is there any... Does any of the cargo halls have, like, an open roof? Or a roof that can be open? Uh, well, apparently... Apparently not. <laughs> Uh, oh, I'm pretty sure no, me and no, Roll can get it in here. You, you see, you see, you look at the cargo hall. Like, look, like there, there's a big cargo hall. There must be something there, and you kind of like try to see like if there's like any like some way to open it. Apparently, there is not. Is there a place with, vents? Is there a place, place with ventilation? You don't even know what ventilation uh, is. All right. But... <laughs> okay. Um... Is there a place with a window or something to empty it out? Make sure we don't suffocate in the smoke. I mean, uh, if you really need to set this up now, we can set it up on deck. <laughs> oh, yeah. If the roof can support that, that is. Well, I hope so. If that's the case, if you have a doubt, might as well not. And better to. Wait until we can reinforce and get it in its optimal position before we start breaking shit. Yeah. Uh, by the way, I'm pretty sure that letter has is done tanning. By the way, not like, hmm. and drying off. It, it's all clean. Wonderful. So we should probably get started on it. So we have something to do on the way to Norn, apart yeah, from yeah. all of this. <clears throat> yeah. Want me to go get the? The, the stuff? Well, let's just move everything over here. Yeah, I have yeah. something small to finish myself. Um, did you already know where the quarters are? Uh, I ain't right there. So it points down the hole where the other rooms are. Uh, exactly the other way. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> just joking, of course, I have no idea. But, um, um, where, where are the rooms? Those are the rooms? There's individual suites, and apparently we have uh, 20 of them, so you can uh, declare one to be your own. It just opened the first door. Is, is it just empty? Like, just a very empty room? Yeah. Like, uh... Like, okay. nothing With is... the barest essentials. Yeah. I there, there, was like, there was, like, a we... bed or something. Yeah, there's I'm only... Be Either we go buy pills, or... We're going to go hunting after we're done with Norn. Because this... This is sad. Uh, that is for you to declare. By the way, I'm currently standing in your doorway and I'm drawing something on on the door. Uh, Omnius, please roll me a wisdom saving bro. Fair. If I see somebody with red hands on this boat... Oh, no. Um, uh, I don't know if I want to fail this one. I'm considering using one of my marks. Do it. Probably should. Oh, yeah. Do it, fool. How do the marks work? Do I just uh, re Yeah, or? yeah, re-roll, re-roll. Because, uh, oh, God. <laughs> Uh, let's just say you succeed, but barely. There's There was just a men's grip all of a sudden, and let's just say you need to get the fuck out <laughs> real quick. On second thought, I think we're done here. And I teleport back to the boat. Uh, so... Oh god. Oh no, roll me 4100. Oh, did you bring it? Did you bring him back again? Um, I don't know, did I? What you basically see is uh 
just just choose which which beer you're gonna pick. Like uh Like honest, pick as far up as on on whose person? Yeah, or on the boat or anywhere. Um, I'm gonna pick one of the last boat, one of the last bees that's left in that little hive, that hive that I made at the front of Jack's boat. Okay, you 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 know how you usually just appear instead of the bee, just destroy the bee, but you know you just appear there. You destroy the bee, but you appear ninety feet above the bee. Well, I'm not gonna have enough time to react, so I'm falling 90 feet onto the deck. I mean, I mean, it's at the very edge, so you just kind of into the water. Oh, yeah. If I can aim myself, I'm going into the ocean. Dexterity, dexterity, no, check. Acrobatics, acrobatics. We never did acrobatics, so do acrobatics, because that's dexterity based. Let's go. By the way, anybody remember that the front part of the the wood ship is missing? Uh, that was roughly repaired, I believe, but yeah. like, not perfectly. Yeah. yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> I just fucking imagine all of you just, like, getting loose, and you just fucking hear a sudden crash, and just something hitting the water. Uh, uh, parkour! Let's just say, let's just say, Omnius, you kind of take, like, uh, you know, the, like, you take, like, a side of a railings from the ship, <laughs> you try to like make it into the water, but you kind of just like press against the railing, just kind of snap half on the railing from one side as you hit the water. Oh, Whoops. <laughs> Whoops. I'll be up in a minute. Whoops. That was weird, and I try to teleport to another one, but roll me another 4100. Oh god. Where are you gonna port? Uh this time What would be the funniest? <laughs> Zan. I'm gonna teleport to Zan. Uh so Zan at this moment has like a a nice a nice like place in one of the in one of the nice suites. He's like holding the money and the gold and the silver. Uh, with the crew, and all of a sudden, uh, you just kind of pop like 10 feet in front of him, and you kind of just stare. Uh, and you just, you just see Zan counting stuff, and you just got to get scared shitless as you just materialize in front of him. Hello, um, ah! sorry about that, I'm having, I hate to admit this, but I'm having performance issues at the moment. Nothing? Nothing? <laughs> ah! I said ah! He's free. Alright, he uh, then he goes up to the- he walks, like a pleb, up to the upper deck. <laughs> uh, and you- and Walking's too so inefficient. Yeah. What, what did I miss, guys? What the hell was that? Wait, we're- no, we're on the other ship, what do you mean? We- we don't hear him. Which one? No, you're I'm on the big ship now. Yeah, on the big ship. Okay. Oh, you're on the big ship? Yeah. How'd you you're... find us so fast? He knows our position. He has Fair the bees. Oh, um... Hi, Omnius. Oh! Just you know getting to the... help me with the anvil. Anvil. Oh, you want the anvil over here now? Oh, well... Not particularly over here. I think we... I don't know if we should wait, but... Oh, you put it in the... Ideally in the not. Yes, ideally don't put it in your personal quarters there. Yeah, yeah, no, like in the, in the storage here. thing. Let's go put it in there for now. I'll put the kill there for two. <clears throat> uh, Honestly, I, I wonder, who's going to take inventory for all the shit we have down there? The quartermaster? Isn't that you, Omnius? <laughs> yep. Well, well there you, you have it. it. Problem solved. Oh, no. I've got work to do. Did you draw that on my door? Yes. <laughs> With Evil. rock literally just written below that. Evil rock be like. Wow. It's actually I... like, I assume the door is like made out of metal. Uh, yeah. I look evil. 
I just needed to get the sketch frame, so like I'm not coloring it in, I just didn't have the time for this, so I'm just doing like a rough sketch. But you know what I mean. What's the filter you use? Uh that is negative smoke. Negative smoke. Ah. Okay. <clears throat> Uh, and one room further, I would be just doing the same thing with uh, Lecter. Rough estimation of my face above that, and I'll close the door behind me. Alright. So, slowly but surely, is about an hour passes. You basically get every single thing that you got from uh, New Dunkirk on the new ship. So, um. Uh, what would you like to do? Well, I'm gonna start grabbing the stuff uh, for the uh, for Lecter's project, asking him also about uh, which which things we would also need for it if we need more things, and asking him if he has time to help out. Oh, I certainly have time for this. <clears throat> um, we'll continue the project then. Before that, one last thing. Uh -huh. Do we still need the ships tethered together, or can they just travel alongside for now? Well, it seems like a pretty easy way to get stuff moved from one ship to the other. Just send it up the line. You know what? Let's just stay here for now. Uh, let's worry about moving later once actually everything's settled. Hmm. Yeah, in that case, uh, project time. Yay. Hell yeah, project time. So, no words to say, and we're just gonna stay there. Develop the action. I'm gonna go up to the, to the captain's quarters and, yeah. with the blueprints and all that, and figure out how to frickin' drive this boat. Uh, so here's the interesting thing. Um, uh, there's everything is uh, everything is uh, written or is displayed in the language you don't understand. But then when you walk in, immediately the fucking words change to common. Oh, it's a magic boat. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, and you basically you basically have this like a bunch of consoles, which in your experience are basically a bunch of buttons that do stuff. But that's the very primitive thing of Nor. As here, this is like fully uh, hand uh, touched everything. Um, and it's, uh, yeah, it is uh, pretty cool. Uh, but there's a bunch of stuff from uh, navigation to defense mechanisms to overall condition of the ship, all integrity. Uh, a bunch of uh, cameras and uh, notification about the speaker, like the speaker notifications announcements. Uh, the whole and there's like a like where you would look ahead to the boat, there's just a massive screen and it shows like a bird's eye view of like quite a few miles around the ship's area. And like every few seconds, you see like a slight uh, a cut of the screen and it like looks a bit different so as i assume we're going to be sailing towards norn right no, guys we're not moving at all right now we're just keeping still so everything can be moved it is moved everything is i mean okay we're kind of in haste yeah in that case, we would need to disconnect and then just, like, get going. Have everybody... Yeah, just go at the speed. Uh, uh, head up so that way. Are we gonna drag the boat behind? No. We'll just go at a speed where, where they can keep up. Would be my best guess. Hmm. Uh, just hit. Unless we, we just want to... Unless we want to tow them. Because we did do that big, thick rope to tow them behind us. Yes, we can. We can, and we should probably do that. So... Honestly, it might hurt uh, Jack's pride as a 
ship captain, though. No, 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 no. Um, I mean, Jack would say that, first of all, it's not his ship. We found it shipwrecked on Norn. Second of all, there's a very nice pouch of gunpowder on the boat. Rather keep it. Yeah, okay. Omnius, roll me Arcana check. Let's see what. Rather you... keep it to be studied and all that, and then just get rid of it. So, uh. <laughs> you have no comprehension what the fuck is going on with you. Bollocks! So, uh, Raxus, yeah? Later, are we going to do. Can I? Can we do the roll for the crafting now, or what are you trying to craft? Lecter's project. What? Uh, which the leather is... gloves made out of uh, dragon leather and optic fiber. <clears throat> uh, in in you're load. trying to make a super high-end magic item. Oh, that's going to be a time-consuming endeavor. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's not meant to be super uh, high-end. Remember, this is not smitting tools usage. Yeah. Yeah, I, I know. The writing. So, yeah. Uh, leather. Still, I still have proficiency with it, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Roll. Okay, so with advantage, because yes. that helps. Just making sure. Yeah. Uh, one. <laughs> oh my. So that's twenty-nine. <laughs> either, either by inspiration of uh, acquiring new tech or what. After a few hours of delicate shred weaving, we actually managed to get a good enough uh, uh, start to making your uh, threaded gloves out of optic fiber. And after those three hours are done, you have yourself one pair of gloves made from that muscle that will let your well, so, roughly humanoid size. Uh, fit for Electra, like I said. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Was there, was, so you called those, uh, what was <coughs> the name of the, uh, the item? They will be called Wonder Makers. Uh, Wonder Makers the details right. of that will be established so soon. This is for now the frame of it. The rest will be done by me. Alright. Uh, so! Uh, so, are you gonna just spend three hours on the same place in the boat, or are you gonna go anywhere? I mean, if we're stuck uh, working on that, uh, we wouldn't be moving anywhere. I mean... I think what he's saying is there's no reason, if everything's moved between the two boats, there's no reason for the big boat to be sitting still, or either of the boats to be sitting still while Rog's doing work in the workshop. Yeah. It doesn't require us to be stationary. Yeah, it's a massive boat, everything is like... Okay, hey. I need just. Oh, I wonder if Ken got medal. I wonder if he's the type to have got medal. Oh, go he got him. medal. Oh, he got medal? Uh, oh, he put the kittle to use. So, uh. Oh, or I could, I so, let her gonna stay or not? I'm actually gonna keep on uh, the gloves for now. No, no, I'm talking about the boat, my dear. I feel like you're a bit too focused on the gloves and not the actual boat that you're on. I'm standing on the boat. What sh else should I be doing? I'm not going to teleport out of here. He has asked five times now if we're going to keep the boat stationary. There's very little reason for us to. We're literally sitting in the ocean doing nothing. If we for don't no have reason. any other reason, we can be moving. Yeah, Jack. there we go. That's Good. sorry, Final. if I have a misunderstanding. Oh God. I, you, there's a difference between talking to Lecter as a character and, like, talking about the entire ship. Oh, God. I, I was imagining, like, you were talking about, like, are you moving to a different room or whatever, and I was imagining, like, what the fuck? No, I, I, I said twice specifically, are you going to Norn or not? And you said I'm going to be stationary. Please, please, let us move on. We are okay, going to Norn. let's move on. That was, that was our objective. Mm -hmm. So, the first time I heard that question, go. we were still in uh, workshop mode, so whatever. That's Moving the on we go. So, uh, I go to question. Dario, to Norn, Ken, we will go. There is no uh, nest. Where are you going to position yourself? Like, uh, there's no I'm nest. going to... 
apparently there's places like a something that goes no or has an uh bird's eye view or something that is yeah it's in the cap where i can keep an eye yeah it's a captain's uh place on the very oh, yeah. side well then i'm gonna be stepping in there find a place that has a view around us uh -oh. Well, of I mean, a, the thing environment around us as well as learn how to freaking do the boat so i mean have this boat so yeah do there's the there's the man that you rescue pablo just minding his own business uh and yeah going to north meanwhile we're gonna do system tests system tests i grab the thing that says pa so I Testing, testing, <laughs> dog smells bad, testing, all testing. Of you, all of you hear fucking in echo. Just like, <laughs> no, 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 bitch, I hurts. Hey, and I do it again after a few seconds. Hey, Rog, guess what I found? <sighs> well, like, did you know where he is so I can get him? Just call me sinking. No respect. <laughs> I assume he would be on the bridge. That's um, the third apparent, uh, the third flight of stairs on the right. If you move in that direction. Got it. <clears throat> I'm gonna charge with aggression. I'm gonna teleport to uh, Ken. I would have seen him coming, right? <laughs> uh, I'm coming for us. You gotta teleport uh, to Ken. Army of forty one hundred. I'd be following slowly. You, you manage, you manage, just get a few feet next to Ken. Hey, Ken. Long time no see. Hey, does this door lock? Um, 120. I, I can run. I, I think can run so. 120 yeah. six seconds. So yeah, it there does. Is, there, it does. It does. <laughs> I'm looking for a big thing on the inside of the door that says lock. Yeah, there is. There is. There's like a. There's like a. You know. You know those fucking dead. can reach them before they. You know. You know. You know that fucking. Oh, Oh, I get it. The big green guy's trying to come and kick my ass. Yeah, I think there's a lock. Yeah. <laughs> you click. How far is it? How far is it, please? It's... No, yeah, you don't make it. You don't make it. You run. Oh, you make it. This is a big ship. Yeah. <laughs> it's probably just... less like the going the, the straight line. You could probably make it, but you got to navigate twists and turns and yeah. upstairs yeah. and making it left and right. I, I just. Uh, I... I, meanwhile, I'm thinking, note to self. Calling him stinky makes him enraged. I just, I just imagine you all fucking here, ding, 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 below as he's fucking flying. And, uh, and then you hear in a voice like, "Nobody's home." Uh. Oh, fuck <laughs> <you>. <laughs> uh, well, also, is step of the wind a teleportation or? No, no, nope. uh, it's just a form of sprint. Spool sprint. Imagine a teleporting barbarian. I'll look over, it's like, huh. look over at Amis, it's like, oh, oh we're on that. Good. Have you seen the, have you seen the, the squishy thing? They, they. Uh, my bees, where do my bees tell me you are right now, squishy? Uh, I'm like, currently, like, I have no idea what's going on or are where I'm supposed to go. I'm on the big ship. I'm just sitting on the floor eating chips. <laughs> I just imagine yeah. on the on the main deck, he's just like, mm, chips. I can imagine that toddler just sitting there, eating chips. I lean forward a bit, I point out the main window, down a little, like, so I'm imagining the squishy, if you just lean forward a little bit in the captain's quarters and look straight down, then you'd be able to see her, but Ken's been, like, more looking at the horizon, like, she's, green, green it's right bugger. there. Have we determined if that's a he or a she or a... It's. We're gonna call it an it. It's right there. Oh, okay. Somebody probably should go and <laughs> get her settled in. She looks a little lost. Still banging on the Fair. floor. Have you picked the room yet? <laughs> nope. I'm just sitting on the floor eating chips. I just, just imagine Shadow Dad. I just imagine you're having a civil conversation while in the background rock is just trying to where's get in and mean? banging. Where, where's that? Where's that meme, uh, with the... You know, Shut the, the fuck up! Thing. No, 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 Shut the fuck up, I'm listening to... <laughs> oh, uh, question, or access. Uh-uh. Did the... When I 
I had detect magic up when I first came back over here. Have I seen anything this whole time? Uh, no. Definitely keeping an eye out. So, uh, then I'm gonna teleport from the captain's quarters. Before I do that, I'm just gonna look at Kemic. Yeah, not a bad idea. Have you picked any room yet? Oh, yeah. Alright, well, I'm gonna go pick one, and, uh, I'll get I don't the... know the name of this one. Get our uh, gelatinous friend settled in. Are you are you gonna are you gonna actually oh, just like you. are you gonna just like open the door and let rock in? <laughs> no, I'm gonna teleport to the deck because at this point Omnius thinks everything's Aww. fine. I just I just fucking imagine like Omnius goes to the fucking door, watches rock, tries to press the thing, remembers, and then just teleports. <laughs> oh right, that was a problem. It's like oh that's right, there's an angry guy on the other side of the store. We're gonna leave him there. Yeah. Oh, Derek. Seriously, will you just open the door? <laughs> Are you going to promise not to kick my ass? <laughs> yes. I guess you're now. <laughs> they just fucking pause from wrong. If you apologize, As it... it's because it's rude. It was a normal systems check. You're supposed to say something stupid, bruh. Fuck's up. I don't wear a ball. What do you mean? <laughs> what are you talking about? Oh, sorry. Wrong time period slang. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was legit wrong time period slang. Yeah, it's like... <laughs> I was not supposed right. to say. Just don't say it again. It's rude. Oh, uh, by the way, you have them. Um, you have metal. I really want to try some stuff. Still talking through the goddamn. <laughs> yeah. Is there a blast? Break the door, so please open the door. Uh, oh, like, I think, I'm unlock the door. Uh, it's I'm like suddenly following. At this point, I would most did likely. I? Yeah, did I get a bunch of metal? No. You gotta got a bunch of guns, which counts yeah. heavy metal. I wait. I got a bunch of guns, but. I still need to have those for observation and tinkering with. There's a lot of them. <laughs> I don't think I have any actual straight metal that you can use. No, you do not. There might, I mean, there might be some from inside the old ship that we had, but other than that, nothing that I got from the island. Yeah. Dang it. I thought you'd be getting some pure medals, you know, just ingots and stuff. Nope. I mean, I did have a whole army at one point, but apparently that's not a thing anymore. Well, I guess I'll have to hand to do things with me, uh, with, with those, uh, mole bat things I got. I still got the claws. Oh boy. So, um. Uh, so I'm gonna go and try, uh. I'm gonna try, try and snip these middle claws that, that I own. Uh, yeah, Quick here. Question. Would you technically still be working on the Wundermakers? Because that took three hours, and the rest of us have certainly not been waiting around for three hours. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, at this point, yeah. So, roll me a d10 as you're making your way towards, uh. towards the door. Oh god, you did a lot today. Someone else roll, please. Squishy roll, let's get on our island! <laughs> you get like D10? the first form of new camp. D10, D10. D10. let's... D10. Oh my god, Squishy. Please. <laughs> and during this traveling time, I'm gonna be getting myself a room figured out. I'm getting Annie or just Squishy a room figured out. Making so, sure that uh, everybody's just... got a quarters. So... How, how, how many fours do we get every time we roll a D10? I feel like we got a lot of deep uh, fours. So, uh, Squishy, I would like you to roll. Just kidding. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, so, Ken, like I said, you're gonna just observe the bridge, right? Look at the area, right? See if everything. Yeah, do whatever. Trying to figure out where it can be. Okay. Good. 
Okay. Look out and all so that stuff. so so you just you just got a fucking notification like uh, two hours or thirty minutes in, and it says radar quarry submitted, maximum depth reached twenty seven miles. The shit does this mean? And you see, you see a bunch of like graphs and all this, and you realize that like, to get to the bottom of the depths is like twenty five miles dive, with some places going up to twenty seven miles. This is extraordinarily deep. Oh, I guess we're underneath deep water. That happens to be an ocean. Yes. Super ocean at that depth. That's like multiple fucking Mount Everest steep. Aye. So. Uh, with that being said and done. Uh. <laughs> uh, yeah. But Danny, this... how do you decorate the room that you choose? I just put all of my junk food and place it everywhere on the walls. Oh, it's just a, a mountain. And then of junk a bucket in the middle. <laughs> yes, I love it. Just on the pristine fucking bed, there's just a tiny little bucket. Omnius takes everything out of his room, if there was anything in his room, just and then the just bed. closes his door, and thumbs up. <laughs> so he just toss out the mattress. <laughs> I have no need for any of this, really. Yeah, what? even he'll like uh, use some bees and start getting some bees to make a little sign on the outside of it that says "spare room." Spare room. Uh... All righty. So, yeah, and you're making the stuff, and uh. Here's the interesting f thing, Ken. Uh, besides that, as you're traveling, there's a lot of like uh, notifications of unknown entities, and you start getting like a bunch of like like attention, unknown entity located at, and it's like gives like a coordinate location, and you see there's like a red blip, like the radar that you have, like the the sky, like the eagle white eye view that you have of the boat. Now has a bunch of red dots with a bunch of stuff. And there's like small islands that appear and disappear. And you realize that's a lot of common because like every like in the past two hours is probably like at least seven islands that actually just manifested and disappeared. Uh and additionally, you start to get pings underwater a few miles deep of massive creatures. Few hundred feet a long. Python class creature detected. Are you sure whatever you're doing is worth it? Exactly. Uh, that's a bit concerning. I like it. <laughs> the only person who can teleport with surety is like, no. I like it. <laughs> Not the only person who can teleport. In, well, yeah, but like, honest can be like, yeah, fuck you. <laughs> yeah. You yeah. can just show Speaking the piece. Of huh? Speaking of teleporting, you're probably going to have me have to roll a whole bunch of D100s here in a second for what I'm about to tell you and my next step, my next plan is. Oh no. Oh, boy. I'm going to find a large container, like an empty wooden barrel, and I'm going to start going back and forth between some of the more fertile places around Victor's Grove and an area on the upper part of the ship that looks like it would be a great spot to start setting up a garden. Alrighty. And I'm going to start teleporting back and forth with barrels full of dirt at a time. Okay. Oh, so, that's right. We did plan to make a garden on the ship. Oh, that's you're... my bedroom. Oh, boy. <laughs> so, question. Um, yeah, so that, while you're doing that, and I'm going to say, you don't need to roll because you're just going to uh, like uh, materialize a few feet above or to the side where you originally are. And you don't take bludgeoning damage from falling, so you don't really give a shit. So... Is he gonna dent the ship, though? No, no, there's there's addition, like, every once in a while you hear just a thunk, but it's not, like, a audible, it's like, thunk. Uh, okay. 
So, yeah, um, as you're sailing, a lot of notifications are just like, like, Ken, you don't need to roll perception anymore. You're literally just like, anything you can't even see is notified in the fucking thing. This is like a dream come true for anybody. Uh, and question for Electro Rog, are you gonna still make the fucking, uh, what are you gonna make with the gloves? I'm pretty sure at this point I leave it up to Lex. Yes. Again. So well, the first half is through, so right now we have the frame. And I'll continue this later because, uh, like, three hours have already passed as far as I know. Yeah. Um, I will be joining the rest of the group, or at least Kenton for now, uh, back on the bridge. And I'm just checking in what happened in the meantime. Hector, this place is amazing. Yeah, we've noticed. Oh, look at this. This thing, I can... It notifies me if there's any unknown entities off anywhere. Lecter looks at the screen and just goes silent. Well, okay. Yeah. Yeah. This place is pretty nice. It's got everything we need. This is what you call too much information. Sometimes you don't want to know what's lurking in the depth. Whatever. Yeah. But it keeps us prepared. You just, you just, you know, here's the thing. Every, every, you count it, Ken. Every, like, 15 seconds, you get a new image. Right? Because you get a static image and a new image. And you see the fucking what's below depth, like, two miles below. And it's, like, a hundred something feet. And you see, like, the first time it goes, it, it's basically, like, chasing your ship, ship. And the other time it does it, it's already way ahead of your ship. Nice. <laughs> nice! <laughs> I just imagine Le Electra is slowly just panicking, like, oh no. Oh no, I gotta go into that. <laughs> Wait a second. Um, do I still have that book? Yeah, I do. Um, Bestiary of the Archipelago. Uh, you still do that? Uh, just looking through, can I find anything in that book that fits the size description? Uh, the largest. The largest. Um, entities you find are called obsidian whales, three uh, three hundred uh, feet long leviathans, much bigger than the ship that you have, and they lay quite a few miles below the ocean, but they usually feed a lot from a lot of plankton. But they don't, they're not as slim, I guess, as the creature. There's some abyssal snakes that lurk a few. A dozen or so miles below, which can go in the in like forty feet, but this is a lot longer. You don't know what that is. Well, so we know we may just have just discovered something that is not known yet. <laughs> uh, for my own sanity, I'm gonna keep it that way. <laughs> oh boy! Doesn't look like we need to piss it off at all. It seems to be minding yes. its own business. Uh, Let's just leave it alone. Unless it angers <laughs> us, we're gonna leave it alone. <laughs> well, I'm hearing some nautical music. <laughs> like, straight up, this is my behavior towards Leviathan's new subnautica. Uh, I'm gonna start attempting to make some really, really good looking daggers with the, the smallest. Okay. So, so I need, I need to, I need to blow your bubble rog. Kilns require burning stuff. Like you can't just it's it's a kiln that requires material. Yeah. Kilns are for like ceramics yeah. and the like. Yeah. For, uh, you wanted a you want a forge and or a foundry. Exactly. Uh, uh, the smallest foundries they had were fucking gigantic. Oh wait, I can do I can I can make jewels. Jewelry. Oh yeah, you can probably do that. You might be able to get the kiln hot enough to melt like certain yeah, base but, metals. But, 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 can I melt gold? The main problem is it needs like you ask for a primitive kiln that uses wood or charcoal. Do you have any? For charcoal. <clears throat> I 
Uh, or cool, I'm sorry. Oh wait, you do! You have a pound of coal because you wanted to make that water filtration thing. I remember. Oh. Yes. Hell yeah. And a kiln, a kiln running on coal, it might damage the kiln a little bit getting it that hot, but you might be able to get it to melt gold. That would be about the limit of the t uh, temperatures, and gold is a fairly low melting metal, but... Mm. And again, well actually no, kilns can do ceramics. So yeah, you should oh, be able I, to get it more I than hot it. enough to do maybe silver even. Yeah, I have a bag of coal. But again, at the higher temperatures, you may damage the kiln. Yeah. Oh no, he doesn't need. He doesn't need to give that kind of damn. He, he chose the fucking mythic uh, proficiency and smithing tools. He knows exactly. So, what are you gonna do? You're gonna just melt a bunch of metal, a uh, bunch I'm, of. Uh... I'm actually, I'm actually gonna try and make a. Uh... Little, uh, little, little thing. Uh, oh. Using the smallest part, the giant mobat and uh, some gold, I'm going to make just something fancy. I'm, I'm going to test my abilities here. I'm going to try and make a basic dagger. Roll me a proficiency. Not uh, roll me a performance, I guess. And it's going to take a half an hour. So, uh, yeah. Yep. Uh, what about the rest of you as you're... As you're just uh, figuring out what to do, because uh, roll me d d10 if nobody has anything else to do. Where are Mostly, me? I'm currently. I'll make a quick whip weapons back. check. A what now? Oh, what was yours? Yeah, what? what Lecter. Yeah. Okay. Can I fucking love that? You just blew my mind. <laughs> I was seeing gifts of shit like that, so I was like, "What if?" Squishy's room. Dog bed, <laughs> bed, yeah. The bed's the bucket. Yeah. Okay, so. Uh... But. <laughs> so what were you saying, Lefter? I'm just mentally stuck on that map. <laughs> yeah, you just just like mentally noting down every single thing I'm seeing on that map. So yeah, so yeah, you you I'm, you. I. Oh. Yeah. So what you oh yeah, yeah so what you realize is that uh, the the islands are spawning everywhere like small ones like only a few feet long and you spot them in because like they notify and there's like some pictures where there's a, like like the remnants of a flash of light even though if you look around you don't see any and you realize that those islands that are spawning that you been visit, visiting from the very beginning they're a lot more common than you thought. Um, but so, so like these islands are so weak that I wouldn't even notice, right? Yeah, they they're like 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 you you, you some you, you like you are notified that there's like anomaly and there's like occasional there's like an you know a few like four or five and there's like sixteen twenty, and it notifies like a specific plot of, of like land and then it just. After like two minutes, it's just gone. It no longer exists. I will be right back. I have to take out dogs. So, yeah. So with that buying saw and done. Um, uh, now I did my. I'm over sure. the intercom. So, attention, attention. We'll be doing a slight, slight weapons check. So, uh, please stand by if you hear any loud booms. Yeah, that's us. <laughs> <clears throat> You're still standing on the bridge, right? I am. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so you're, like, close by. I'm I'm trying to figure out how to uh, drive this boat <laughs> and look at, the, look at the scanner and all that, the radar and whatnot. Uh, so, so, the one that you seem that has any boat controls... Are in the same panel that Pablo is taking hold because he's sitting in one of the chairs that oversees that, and you see quite a lot of other stuff like uh, nuclear reactor, uh, ventilation systems, uh, basically all the I guess uh, vitals of the of the ship being stable, and yeah, uh, as for as for like there is uh, I guess uh, what's it called. A wheel, 
but it's running on autopilot. Uh, as you see, the the wheel on itself just slowly, occasion just kind of tilts slightly to the left or to the right, and maintains an angle and stops. So yeah, Lecter is currently trying to figure out how the fuck that thing works without like any kind of magic attached to it. But just one ring on the side, like it's not yeah. actively engaged. Uh, yeah, but uh, as for the defense systems, uh, there's plenty of defense systems. They they show all the uh, anti anti personnel grenades, all the uh, machine guns, the sentries, uh, their condition, their ammunition capacity. Everything is maxed out, and yeah, there's like uh, how do I say this? You know how we in video games like flip cameras, right? Mm -hmm. There's basically there's basically every single camera available and like available to the machine gun, and there's like a like manual over like automatic uh, surveillance and defensive parameters, and you can see that you can literally just like change some animal and switch to any like uh, sentry, and as soon as you see a sentry, like a small the metal door opens up and you see the ocean and you see like a dot like a reticule where you're shooting and yeah if you press the button to, to shoot you all hear just bang <laughs> feeling of power there's there's one there's one uh, sentry one one machine gun that is basically in front of the boat that you're uh, uh, scuttling. So, you know. Then to don't do anything hasty. I'm just imagining Ken just literally having to restrain himself just to not press the button like more than <laughs> necessary. Nah, it's just some simple weapons test. Maybe one maybe one. Maybe one extra time. Yeah, it's fun. <laughs> Boom. There you go. Third shot. Yeah. Uh, no, he would go through every single weapon, oh. every single weapon test on there, and then at the very end, it's just as he's walking away, he looks back at the console, just quickly, just presses one more button. <laughs> <laughs> You know what's the funny shit ever? As soon as you time. press, as soon as you press it, you just see that it shows like you have 49 out of 50 ammo capacity, and that fabrication is underway, and the fabrication will be done in 28 minutes. So every oh, single bullet, every single bullet you shoot is like 28 minutes of like time. You fabricate. Ah, so we have a finite amount of weapon ammunition, and it does take a hot a bit to refabricate. That's good to know. Yeah. So, with that being said, if anybody else else has anything to do, I would like you to roll me another d10. Also, Lecture, you don't want to continue on the gloves, I guess? Um, I'm done with part one. Yeah. And I would like to do part two during some kind of downtime event. Alrighty. So, this is not something I'm continuing right now. Alrighty. So. <sighs> oh god, Squishy is getting the fucking wheel. She's gonna fucking roll all the D10s. Let's go. Wheel. Oh. Mucus, mate, what? Ew. <laughs> uh, a nine. Oh my god. Oh no. Please don't tell me it's another item. <laughs> Give me a second. Get it. Oh my god. I roll another Dunkirk. <laughs> <laughs> no. Dunkirk, before it got industrialized, currently it's a Victorian era city. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, what you get is. Uh, Squishy, please roll me a D6. Are we gonna battle something? I am not. Really? 
one. <laughs> we just got this boat. <laughs> Uh, so, Lecter, my buddy Motel! Uh, it's been an hour since he basically, like, uh, oh god, yeah. So, there, it's been a, it's been an hour since you actually, like, uh, started looking and just surmising while Ken was doing his own stuff. And then you, you just, to the point that, you know, it's like getting, like, kind of, disturbing just hearing every few seconds like warning anomaly and you mute it and just watch as <laughs> more stuff happens uh and then you start to see a large object about six miles below and slowly rising five miles is it going, is it four like miles it's it is it you're going it, you're going like 10 degrees like if we go from compass 10 degrees north uh and it's coming from like uh like 150 degrees uh, uh southeast and it's uh coming towards like looking directly at your location and it slowly starts to climb up and it's like Five miles, and like every few every few minutes, like four miles, three miles, two miles, and it's getting it's getting higher. Just in case, um, Ken, we do have weaponry in that direction, right? Like roughly, physically pointing in that direction where it would be rising. We do. Uh, just have something prepared. Um, uh, so, so, uh, as soon as you reach one mile, and it, it, and it's like, a warning, okay, Im impact, uh, impact inevitable, uh, 84 seconds, and you start to hear additional, uh, uh, warning, uh, additional uh, anomalies found, as you see, there's like, like, when the thing got closer, there's a bunch of red spots, like, next to the big red spot uh it's like a like a 70 foot thing it's a big white thing and uh there's a bunch of tiny things around it um how we do evasive maneuvers trying out how fast can this thing go uh just runs it over uh he's oh, just no, we're not running that thing over it's way too big yeah, it's. Uh, it, 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 I mean, he's going. He's going quite fast. He's going like three times as fast as you did with your normal ship. Just going. Uh, what What about the uh, ghost speeded ship? How fast was that going? Well, ghost nitro. That was going good faster than this ship. That was going a bit too uh, faster than this ship, but you also almost tilted like, like a front flip into the ocean. Uh, so, uh, what's the call to action? Because the thing is approaching. <laughs> Speed up. If possible. Um... Do you give warning to the to everybody on the ship? And beyond? <laughs> uh, me, and Sh me and Shadow Dad. <laughs> uh, okay, so. <laughs> wow. <clears throat> so, um, Ken, Pablo, we might have a situation pointing to the currently muted uh, alarm situation. Um, evasive, evasive maneuvers, speed up, a warning for the crew. Okay, uh, Ken, chip a warning for Pablo. Can't hear you right now. Can't hear you, you're too far. I don't know. I'm saying, is Ken gonna give the warning, or is it gonna Pablo be the one who gives the warning? Oh, I'm gonna make give the warning. So what's the warning, <laughs> Ken? What's the warning? Well, first we're doing evasive maneuvers and and then speeding up. So, all hands on deck. Possible incoming host incoming. Yeah. Oh, oh, a bunch of uh... yes. It's a fight already, Rog, in case you were asking, and I can't hear you. <laughs> How does he know? Magician. I don't know, Rog. 
<laughs> I just imagine <laughs> fucking surveillance cameras, nobody else knows. Yeah. <laughs> it's the bees. Yeah. It's the bees. No, bees. you you figure out you figure out you can well, tap you, you can tap uh, you can figure out you figure out you can tap into cameras like sound and you can literally be like, hey, I know what you're thinking wrong. <laughs> Uh, I'm not in your head. <laughs> um. So. By the way, uh, did did I manage to finish the thing? Or. Oh yes. Oh yes, you did. You made. You you had enough heat to melt smelt the gold with the uh, palm of char charcoal you got, and you made a very nice, very beautiful golden dagger. That definitely you could break apart if you really were angry. You know, it's more decoration. Ornamental. Ah. Yeah. Uh -huh. It's beautiful, but decoration. So, uh, I would like, um, so, uh, Omnius, as you come back with your uh, uh, thing that you looking were looking for, uh, all of you just only feel a sudden uh, shake. As something directly oh, impacted you. I need to you. tell. I need to tell you what the uh, the plan for how that works is. But yeah. Running up, closing everything, running up to the main deck. Yeah. Uh. Uh. First thing you notice is remember the fish people. Oh those. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. You you see quite a few, quite a few, a good dozen or so just start climbing through like. Uh, onto the sides of the ship and start getting on board. Uh, so, Ken! Take the pot shots. Yeah, 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 Ken, Ken, Ken. The best part is, uh, as soon as, like, you see someone in the vicinity, like, climbing, you just shoot, and you just see, like, the fucking chest there is just fucking gone. <laughs> and then, I, I try and see if there's an open, well, first I, uh, before I take the shots, I'm gonna see if I can open one of the windows in the captain's quarters so I can actually shoot out. Uh, so, so. Yeah. Um, I'm assuming that happened, right? Yeah. yeah. So And then I yell at the top of the Get off my bloody ship! It's just scarp. So here's the best part. Away. So here's the best part. There's no real comet here because you literally just like there is still the same like a lot of them of fish people but any weaponry you have because every single crew is like fucking strapped <laughs> like any fucking bullet that hits basically makes the fish people just fucking die on the spot uh no chance. yeah but uh alternatively the giant thing uh submerges 200 feet and begins to uh and begins to puncture you again as you just start to hear the bang sounds. Do we have any, uh, do we have any under, underwater countermeasures for this bloody thing? I'll give you an underwater <laughs> countermeasure. Lecter, uh, if you can hear I'm me. gonna check. I'm gonna okay. check the console, see if there is any. Uh, gonna, I want Lecter to cast fly on me. So uh there's there's uh what's it called? Uh electric shock I'm uh field that bitch out of the water. Oh, you're gonna harpoon that bitch. Hold on. I wanna see what what I find. What do yeah. I find first? You 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 saw you saw the thing of like electrical uh water electrical water discharge. You don't know what it does. Ocean taser. <laughs> is, there, is there a warning? Is there like a saying of what it does? Can I find the no. schematics? No. I I I I go to <laughs> I point at him, I point at the thing, and then I give a thumbs up with a, huh? Huh? And see if what his reaction is, if he gives it a thumbs up or a thumbs down on He kind of, he kind of, he, he, he kind of keeps an eye on the computers and he looks at you, just kind of gives you like a fucking thumbs up and just kind of continues looking at the fucking monitors. And, uh, I press it then. <laughs> all of you just hear, and you just hear, uh, like deep male voice saying discharging electricity current into the water any personnel avoid contact the water immediately as uh 
You just hear this pulsating, pulsating, pulsating as the fucking thing starts impacting you again. And you just hear a... And you see every single, like, uh, every single, like, fish person that tried to still climb or did, they just, like, immediately just got this, fell over and collapsed. Um, but not the entity. And, uh, here's the thing. Uh, who's, who's on the main deck? Uh, there was, there was a moment that you saw something very massive next to the boat. It had a very turtle-like back. You assume that's a dragon turtle. Oh my god! Oh my god! Lecture! We gotta get a piece of that! Squishy is like... Uh, I'm oh no! The bridge to oh no! It's, 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 it's trying to puncture you. Oh, it's still alive? It's yeah, still alive? it 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 kind of dies for a few hundred feet and then starts to go in for you again. Oh, okay, Lecter, Lecter, get Does it here. look like that did any damage okay. to it though? Leaving the bridge, heading. You don't see again. it. You you just see the fucking sensors of like the fucking thing just going a bit, a few hundred feet, and but just I going again. But I saw the turtle and now it's fine. <laughs> uh, but I need Lecter to. Mm. With this. I'd be I have heading an idea, down. Yeah, but you will hate me if I do it. <laughs> Not going to fucking... hate anything about it. I'm going to fish. I'm going turtle fishing. <laughs> oh no, you're gonna throw the harpoon, aren't you? <laughs> yep. I'd be heading down to the main deck to see whatever the hell I'm needed for. Oh my oh, god. Mate, you. Oh, I need your help. You're gonna make me fly. I'm gonna fish that to your water. <laughs> Interesting change of personal opinion. Uh, I will accept that though. Uh, reaching out one of my hands. Classic handshake position, so. Yeah. Tell everybody to get ready with any long range weapon they got. It's not gonna be up there for long. <laughs> Could you repeat that a bit louder? Uh, Overhead. Just. Uh, just have everyone prepared with anything they could do to it because it's not going to be up for long uh i'm looking up in the direction of the bridge uh at ken like uh, does he currently have the window open he, the windows are not yeah. open didn't he uh, shoot out of one no he tried but there was okay he tried so that is, does that mean there's no <laughs> shoot one? through the wall <laughs> No, mm. he tried to look for a way to open the window, but it wasn't. Yeah, and it's okay. screaming. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah. So, um, Gail Serpoon, you, you start to see the familiar, like, you see, like, it's a nice blue ocean, and then immediately see the blackness of a shadow approaching as you, Rog, chuck the spear, and then. It was flying, though, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure? Yeah, yeah. And once it hits something, you in your hand, whichever hand you tossed it, you suddenly feel like there's like a sudden magnetism towards oh, the no. ocean, and but you feel like but you feel like you're the one who has the uh, advantage. So, question is, are you gonna try to are you gonna try to pull? <laughs> I'm pulling it out of the ocean as, as I can. I'm trying to outrun this this heart. I'm trying to outfly this fire. Oh out. my and god! It's possible. Roll me, roll me, okay, okay, roll me a strain check, plus your Rage, mid- Raging, I'm raging for, the, for that one. No, strain check, but with an additional modifier, add your mythic level. And my, so that's plus three? Yes. Okay, so seven plus three, plus three. Can, can I not rage for advantage? No, this is, this is like- <laughs> The only reason why you can roll straight is because you have the power that you have. Okay, so... I'm taking my bow out! <laughs> oh my god. Uh, you all see a giant 70 foot long uh, sea dragon just getting up in the air about 200 feet. Was it a dragon turtle? Yeah, a dragon turtle. Yeah, you see, it said sea dragon. That was no, 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 dragon turtle. 
a roll me a d100 where it lands. Oh god, if that thing sinks the ship. <laughs> oh boy. I'm gonna fire my bow at it. <laughs> roll me to roll me to hit. I love the fact that Squishy has not even did a single fucking encounter with this. Like, not I a single. I haven't done an encounter. This is this. me with my new boat. Yeah. Oh god. What could possibly go wrong with trying to drop a dragon turtle on a boat? Yeah. I'm not dropping the dragon turtle. I know, turtle. I know. You're trying to drop it away. Uh, from so, you hit. drop it away and I can get it in lines with the cannon. Okay, so yeah, yeah. Even you. Okay. Yeah. So, um, Ken. Uh, roll me, yeah. roll me, roll me your, uh, roll me your hits. Like, like you do with Mark II. Just, uh, uh, divide divided by two and minus uh, your dexterity. Dragon turtle still has some draconic power. So I think. Uh, okay, so what am I freaking doing with that? Kind a twenty. It a, a d twenty plus nine. D twenty plus. Yeah. How many? One. Does it hit? Does this hit? It does. Well, I'll just say, I'll just say, it hits, and everybody else, roll me a perception check as you just overlook this fucking creature just getting We're fucking... About 16. Guys, we are destroying this thing, okay? We are literally going to harvest this thing. Dragon Turtle is good. <laughs> oh, you, 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 you... My usual really bad perception checks. I'm just putting this on the phone. Oh my I god. I have one eye right now. Hey, right, perception check, sorry. Um, I have advantage on perception checks, right? Yeah. I think. Uh, Wait, Ken, why aren't you ro rolling with advantage? Uh, no, advantage oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, roll the oh, performance. Yeah, I didn't say. Pers I didn't hear advantage. I said, I said, no, no, no. I said everybody roll perception. No, it's just. No, I don't have it. Oh, I didn't do. I, didn't, I was. A hit to, he said to hit. 16. But, okay, I'll do my perception. Oh, God. My passive perception is 21. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. 28. So, Ken. Seven. So there's there's something very horribly wrong with this dragon turtle. As you see, most of its uh, fleshy bits have been, looks unnaturally dead. And as you start to shoot, as as you start to shoot the fucking thing, can it starts to get like chunk torn apart, and then you realize there's a bunch of fucking worms. As soon as like you break open the main carapace, a bunch of oh, no. uh, reddish worms start to just uh, wriggle out and start to consume the fucking uh, sea turtle. That's a str those are striga worms. You met them before. That fucking shark, right? Yeah. Oh. oh yeah. So. Uh. We gotta go. Yeah. So imagine, imagine if like there was like a 70, 70 feet tall, not 70 feet tall, but like 70 feet wide turtle. And as soon as you crack the shell open, there's just a bunch of fucking spaghetti mayonnaise just fucking spilling into the ocean. That's what you're basically seeing. Here. I don't think that dragon turtle's alive. I think there's some weird wiggly things coming out uh, of it. We so, need to go. Yeah, you, you just you just see that the fucking as soon as the the shell cracks open, half of the dragon uh, the dragon turtle just immediately gets consumed by the worms. I'm definitely repairing. Oh. Yeah. Is, is the shell still intact though? Oh no, the shell is also getting consumed. I'm getting my harpoon out of there, and I'm going back to the ship. Oh, disgusting! Uh, <laughs> so, so here's the interesting part about your harpoon rog. Uh, the very tip of it is covered in in dead blood, uh, blood, uh, wormy substance, and you hear something screech within it. What the fuck? What you like to do with that tip, my good sir? Wash it. I'm dragging it in the ocean. I'm, I'm trying to wash that thing yeah. without touching it at all. Yeah, Squishy, welcome to my campaign. 
It screwed me. I also me. took nine damage, by the way. <laughs> yeah, your fucking your fucking uh, bolt arrow was. Oof. But yeah. Uh, besides that, a lot of a lot of fish people corpses and uh, one undead sea turtle. Later, it's clear. As uh, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here, Lecter. We gotta get out of here. Mm -hmm. I remember those worms. I hate them. Message to Ken and uh, Ken and Pablo. Uh, there's a parasite in the water. We have to get out of here. Yeah. Uh, already on it. He as soon as soon as the fucking thing happens, uh, you just see the uh, you see the Pablo Mio stand up and just go to the console defense and fucking hit the. <laughs> And it, he, no, 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 he hit, he, no, he hits the fucking, uh, discharge again. <laughs> and you all hear the familiar sand clear of any water. No, I'm just, <laughs> As another discharge just happens. Uh, yeah. Is the parasite dead now? We don't know, but we have to get out here anyway. Yeah. You uh, should, at least. On the side? <laughs> Uh, I mean, you don't know. You don't. You, you, you saw for a moment. You for a moment saw some blood from the dead, uh, tur like uh, uh, dragon turtle, but it's gone now. I would have so much loved a freaking back piece of that dragon turtle. Could have turned that into some really good fucking shields. We'll get you another one. Hopefully, if we find another one. Anyways, uh, I'm saying this over the pee. Uh, uh, do I still have some juicy bit on my spear? My harpoon? Uh, I mean... Did you wash it off? Yeah, you said you washed it off. Yeah, yeah, you washed it off. Because it's like... Okay. Oh, thank God. <laughs> I am disturbed. Welcome. Oh, you, you should have seen the shit we did. Uh, Polymorph actually works on this thing. Thank God. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. <clears throat> uh so with that being said, ad additional D10, please. Unless you want to do something while you're. I want to do it. I want to do it. But like anybody else want to do something while traversing? Keeping an eye out just in case that thing tries to come back. Hmm. Roll me a perception check with advantage. I'll also roll, but I don't think I will be able to help at all. Nineteen actually. I thought about doing what we were got discussing. Got eighteen. But... Two, I got Honestly, double 18, so two nine, plus nine, so 27. Wait, where did you roll? Means Not in dice roller. Roll in dice roller. I rolled a d10. <laughs> oh, yeah, no. 24, still. So. Ah, uh, Ken, finally. After so many tribulations, it's been almost a month, and you finally see the familiar shores of Norn in the distance. As the as the eventually the map picks up Norn's like landmass. You made it! You made it to Norn. He's gonna start. Kendall's gonna just sigh of relief. Oh, finally. Yeah. And instantly start uh, planning on touring the <laughs> touring the place with Lena, showing, showing her my hometown yeah. and everything. While, while Ken's distracted with being homesick, I sneak into the the captain's uh, thing. You know the the drive Yeah, thing. yeah. What are you gonna do? <clears throat> I'm gonna put my hand on Ken's shoulder. <laughs> well, hey, look at that. We're back in Norn. Yep. By the way, you know. I wonder if that anvil that we had that arm wrestling contest is still there. Oh, you know, that would be fun. Maybe we can have another go at oh, that one time. Yeah. If, I mean, if, if, if there's time. Uh, but finally, oh. I'll be able to get an actual freaking furnace. A uh, uh, foundry, whatever. I have, I have a feeling it's going to take them a while to give us what we need at, know, at that point. Still. So, we're gonna be here a hot minute. Oh, Once boy. we have made sure that this place is indeed safe, um, I'd be coming up right now. Um, once we yes. made sure that this place is indeed safe, uh, 
I'm sure we can make some modifications to the ship. Ah, uh, it reminds me. I should probably be the first thing is go and address to the king what's been going on. Oh boy, so question. Uh, uh, Omnis, you wanna do anything about this? Any information you'd like to share? I'm debating about whether or not I want to go ahead with the thing we were discussing. I mentioned that a minute yeah, ago, yeah. but I don't know if it was heard. I don't oh, know, though, you make it sound pretty sketchy, even for me. Hey, hey, you, 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 you said what you wanted to find. I gave you an option. You gotta take it or leave it. I'm gonna choose not to make more enemies for the party this day. So instead... I think when, once I've uh, gotten all of the dirt that I said I was going to get together, I'm going to be teleporting, o like, uh, does Norn, would it, would Norn, any of the places in Norn that I would have known about have, like, a nice lumber yard? Uh, here's the thing about N Norn at the moment. Uh, well, most of the places are nice and chill. Uh, Gravitas had some developments, and most of its surrounding forest has been cut down, and there's a makeshift dockyard now available there. And you see quite a few ships are parked there. Oh, fair enough. Oh, that's busy see. with all their wood. Um, oh! No, this is what I was thinking about doing. Um, I'm going to throw things, th throw things for a little bit of a spin here, Axis. Uh? I want to get... A rare and unusual sapling to start my tree with, and I want to use plane shift to do it. Where are you gonna travel, my good sir? Well, I'm thinking about that, and I'm uh, trying to determine what kind of places would have really nice trees. I'm thinking the elemental plane of life would be a good place to start. Do you have the material to go there? No, not really. <laughs> so that's what he's going to look into the figuring out part of. The fact that you even know this much about the cosmology, cosmology itself is already blowing my mind. Wow. Cool, I guess. He's, um, he's, well, he done you some guys research. really don't know anything about his background or the, mm -hmm. the people that he came from. A fucking society of fucking super majocracy sorcerers bent on their particular goals, but we're not going to talk about that. Okay, so... Uh, yeah, um, you're basically coming from, uh, <laughs> you're basically co go coming from, uh, uh, I guess this map's, uh, basically opposite side of Gravitas, and actually, in interestingly enough, uh, closest to the Victor's Cave and the Willow Pass, Ken's home. Are coming from that angle. So, okay. question: Are you gonna Are you gonna try to just dock at the first shore? You're gonna try to make all the way around. At the dock, the dock is over across. Gravitas. Yeah, across across the island. Uh, or do you want? I think it's gonna be an easier. It's probably gonna be better to go and do do that. But that's just me because that'll also get us over to where. We should probably be at first okay. before before going ham over here. <laughs> so, what's what's the consensus? Where are you parking, my good people? So, if I understand this correctly, the option is to either just park literally anywhere or at you a specific would... spot, like for example, off the coast of Rapatos, right? Yeah, I mean, well, technically, which I... would be the dock. Yeah, uh, or you can park on the opposite side where you basically, like, the closest the closest place where you can park is basically near, next to Willow Pass and Victor's Cave. Is that... But the dock is in Gravitras. Yeah, which is opposite side. Which would be better if we're going to have work done on it. Time to choose. I'm voting Gravitras. I like that idea as well. Okay. As long as we land somewhere. All right, right. trust it is. All righty. Uh, it takes additional hour 
as you traverse uh, through the destroyed mountain range, range that uh, for most of your life, um, can it, it there's like a snowy mountain, the north where you used to live, or I guess a bit northeast, which was a massive mountain range that had a lot of, like permanent snow all year round, and was inhabited mostly by orcs. And you basically see the other side of the mountain range that is basically missing and destroyed. Uh. So yeah. Takes a few hours going across the shore, but eventually you make it. You find quite a few different ships. Uh, you you find a ships of uh, bearing Dorian Empire colors, the Coalition uh, colors, and the uh, UKP colors. So, Lecter, that's a big uh oh no. Because you've got three different factions who very much dislike each other on the same fucking port. Yeah. Um, yeah. And besides many other places. Because this, <coughs> this doesn't have, like, uh, what's it called? It's not directly to Graftus. It's a bit away, like a few, mi like a mile or so. But I mean, the forest is basically almost chopped down. And there's, like, makeshift dirt roads. And there are, like, people, like, trying to sail and harvest stuff. So, yeah. Like the, what are those flags at? I mean, more familiar with those. Uh, they may mean problems. Problem. Diplomatic rivalry. Wait, oh. who, 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 what now? There's a bunch of different political factions uh, currently at the dock that are rivals to each other. Uh, so. I yeah. So, so it looks like we're in a sensitive point in time. So, mm -hmm. so interesting. So, in, so just a quick, everybody, a quick TLDR. The Empire is bearing a blue background with a golden eagle. Uh, Rog, you're kind of theoretically a part of the Empire, but not officially. But you're in the territory. Aren't I a war criminal. Yeah, yeah, but he's, yeah, you're in a, in the nomadic swamp that is technically owned by the empire, but nobody gives a shit about it. Uh, Squishy, you're also very much so part of the empire kind of thing. Lecture, hey. you're basically just null and void. You're of the Platinum Seas, but they are allies to the empire. Uh, so, and then there's the. There's the coalition, which are basically enemies with the empire, because they basically won the civil war and split off. And then the UKP, United Kazimuth Party, who had their civil war with the coalition and won. Fun how things go. So yeah. I rem I remember Calumet. UKP Calumet. and Platinum Seas were also enemies, right? Uh yes. Well, not like super hostile but like uh just just whatever whatever feeling the empire has towards something usually platinum seas has the same notion a uh, quick question um quick question just remind me which one of these does lena not like the empire the empire and which one is there one that she is more associated with that is here uh, or is she just a free agent? She she doesn't give a shit about any of them, but she despises the Empire nonetheless. Okay. Shit. Um, I quickly gotta take a call. I'll be back in a second. Fair enough. So yeah, you come across the shore with this fucking ship, and everybody's fucking. Not letting Lena know that what's going on, but saying we're going to try and figure this out and. So, uh, so uh, here's the interesting part. Uh, here's the very interesting part, my good people. Uh, everybody's like, whatever people were doing, everybody just kind of shocked and just looks at your fucking ship as it arrives. Because it's fucking massive and it's fucking different compared to anything. Like, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Eric's. Huh? 
you you know uh the the one world of warcraft video the uh bfa launch in a nutshell yeah you never remember when the boat is coming to them yeah with those stupid rave music yeah that is what i am imagining (laughs) (laughs) here come the dumbasses (laughs) yeah pretty much (laughs) <laughs> As there are a bunch of dock workers and all that. Uh, yeah. So. Yeah. So, um. Before, before we do anything. So, I guess, uh. Question. Like, I know what Squish is gonna do. What the rest of you do? Because, I mean, there's, there's not enough size for you to park. Good thing you got the boat. <laughs> yeah. Because, uh, yeah. Sure, uh, we have like, like the ship dinghies or something <laughs> to yeah. like sail. Do we uh, don't have motorboat? Uh, you actually don't. Are there any sort of you have a ship? You have a anything? Sh- you have the ship that you used. Can't we just? Does this thing have an anchor? Um, uh, not that it seems like it has. Can I be up in the cutscene? Do I see an anchor? No, but you see that the the, the, the ship is completely stopped as uh, it just yeah. stabilizes itself. Okay. Well, I guess it does. That's good to know. Anyways, I guess we all pile on to. I guess we all pile on to the smaller ship then, mm. and then make our way to the port. We're going to need to get some decorations for, the, for all new rooms and stuff. <laughs> I mean, it's not too Don't hard. Don't need any. <laughs> the, the new... Just turn this like, old ship into a glorified giant dinghy. Yeah, so the ship, the ship itself, it doesn't take a lot. It's like a few hundred feet to get it. And with Zan's help, it's very easy to just get it going. And yeah, a lot of people just like amazed, even from like the other ships of uh, other factions, just to kind of just look at it. Because, like, you literally... It's funny. I... Okay, just to put it... I click a button, and if you hear a... Fuck, fuck! Yeah. (laughs) Over the ship. You... you... Just... Just... Just just blow up the mic. So... If anybody touches this ship, you're dead. No, no, no. The whole ship is, like, three quarters of the port. Oh, right. We're, we're like, the biggest ship there. Yes. Big dick energy. (laughs) I just... I just imagine... Wait, I was suggesting we go to the smaller boat. No, 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 but, like, they see the big boat, like... Yeah, like... Oh, yeah. It's visible in the distance, and it's still making up, like, 90% of the uh, uh, horizon. <laughs> yeah, so... Uh, everybody's just stunned and confused. Uh, uh, you recognize some people, Ken. Not, not like, uh, like, immediate, like, friends or anything, but, like, people you've seen before as, like, pass by. Uh, some people, like, who were soldiers now just are, I guess, dock hands, slumberjacks, fishermen. Do I any, see any, uh, any sort of higher form of military presence from the north? Uh, from... yeah, you, you see, you see people that are part of the military police, including quite a few of King's guards that are basically holding the lines, or I guess the dock lines between the ships and making sure none of them just go and do yeah. something. All right, guys. Here we go. We're back at we're back in my hunting grounds. Let's get. I just walk towards through cuz I'm more or less have their colors and all that stuff and the mark 2, so yeah. <laughs> so uh, I walk roll up and say good evening. Oh, whatever time of day it is. It, it's, it is evening, it's about 6 p.m. And uh, the people like uh, who you're talking to immediately no, no, remembers your face. And they kind of like, uh, their eyes widen. Evening. Alright, so just, just so everybody's up to speed. That big boat, that's ours. That is our boat. So you just need... Just we're all there. And secondly, it is imperative that I speak with the king as soon as possible. 
uh, uh, we're, we're in, what, what? We don't know anything, just, just go and try to get an audience. We're just oh. down in the dock. Yeah. Alright. As you were then. And I motioned to that, my entire party. I'm bringing all of my compatriots and make sure. And I just make sure I stay here as each one of them pass. And if somebody else tries to go as part of my the uh, group, I'm going to say, not that one. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Omnis, are you following with or are you just going to stay and do your own? Best no, I figured out my plan. <clears throat> but are you going to stay? Oh, okay. You're just going to do your own thing. Okay. So, uh... I forgot how much of a big shot you were here. <laughs> To be fair, about quite a, a couple of us are still big shots here. Yeah, all of you are technically, right. a lot of you are still our heroes of Norn, remember. You know, I, I actually wonder if they would still go for the Omris and Mesh now. We have gotten stronger. Well, they don't know. Well, I, once, I know that's the best part. once the more important part. Parts are taken care of. Then we can go glow trotting around. Yeah. Uh huh. So um. No. What's the first thing we be checking with the king, saying hi? King's well, audience. it seems oh, like we have sailed in on a political, a very delicate political thing right here. So uh, I would like, so. I would like all of you as you make your way towards where the. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. So I didn't make a map because I I actually made a map, but actually it didn't save. So fuck off. <laughs> uh, so um, gravitas. Yes. Yeah. Um, so it's a massive city. It's uh how to say this? It's like a nice equal rounds. Most roads are covered in the uh, in the uh, cobblestone and paved in some sort of clay or brick roads. Oh. Uh, did it stop? Is Zan going with Gavel? Yeah. Any of them? Yeah, everybody's going. Uh, except for Zan. Only, but only, decides only to... one of the main parties staying on the boat, then. Yeah. So, uh, give me a second. Do, 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 do. Give me a second. Do, do, do. So, the whole, uh, uh, So, the whole place is a uh, wide open landscape, and uh, I guess the castle, the place, uh, the pa uh, palace of the king is uh, built on like the only mountainous area in the surrounding area, and it's like a spiral to get into. Uh, you know quite a bit of, of the city, Ken, about your capital, but I mean, you haven't been here a lot or in a while. So, uh, I guess I know Squishy what she's gonna do. What about the rest of you? <clears throat> uh, sending out. Oh, fuck. Oh, okay. Um, sending out my drone in an area. I'm gonna look around for something specific. Uh, a lead smith. But f most of m my attention is focused on following Ken and making sure nobody's trying to pickpocket or some shit. So, Victor. Of all these three factions here, which ones is going to be the most beneficial? So, um, currently there's the Empire, the Coalition, and the UKP, right? Yeah. Isn't the Platinum Seas affiliated with one of them, working for mm. them, part of them? There's an alliance between uh, the Empire and the Platinum Seas. Um, I'm mostly spectacle, uh, skeptical. Is that a word? Yeah. Yeah. Um, about uh, the other two. Don't try to strike up deals with them. I don't want them to stay for long. Hmm. This is going to be a tough one. Um, I think well, let's at least get the should include whether or not the. Um, are you actually going to try and uh, weigh yourself in on these political issues? 
But it well, seems I'm like they're trying to see. This is seems to be the the pivotal uh, point in this in Norn of who whom they're going to join if they are planning on fully supporting a side. I mean, honestly, I really don't have it. any do what's going to do what. I just know that I live on the same continent that the Empire, and so, well, you said... But are you loyal to them? <laughs> this is what no. we're trying to figure out. I don't care about the nomadic tribes. So what are they going to do in swamps, eh? <laughs> um, so, just the, the whole... Uh... I mean, it's getting late, so you, it's like 6, 7-ish p.m. Uh, and Lecture wants uh, Let's Smith. What about Tarog and the rest? I'm going to go shopping. For? Okay. Uh, bedroom furnishing. Mostly yeah. to see if they have some skins and furs. Okay. And a forge. And a forge, yes. Also, Omnius is going to go ahead and move the uh, anvil over into the workshop space on the new boat for you. Take yeah. care of that real quick. Uh, yeah. Good. Oh. I'm making my time, way to the palace. Okay. I, since I finally figured out what Omnius is going to do, and he can keep it pretty damn simple. Retroacting back to basically after he finished bringing over all the barrels full of dirt into the area at the top of the boat where he's going to make his garden. Mm -hmm. uh, he then teleported ahead and went to Norn and tried to find a nice oak tree from somewhere on the island that hadn't been completely like a, a small oaks, you know, yeah. three, four feet tall, nothing big. And uh, he'll work to carefully remove that from the ground so that he can bring it over to the place. Uh, then he's going to teleport into Zan's quarters as soon as Zan and the rest of them are off the boat and look around through Zan's gem hall to see if he can quickly find a thousand gold agate. thousand gold agate. If you find quite a few agates, you don't know if they're worth a thousand gold single pieces. Just but... take a few, let's see how many get consumed. Yeah, yeah I'll take a like... few and I'll see how many I get back. Okay, but uh, I need a thousand gold agate to... Uh cast the awaken spell so i'm going to take this oak tree i'm going to plant it in the top of the garden i'm going to cast awaken on it and then i'm going to proceed to burn all the rest of my spell slots on plant growth after plant growth after plant growth to try to craft this oak tree into a aforementioned gazebo oh boy okay specifically leaving a little area on the back that's kind of doorway shaped that can be used for the transport via plants and right. we can just walk into the gazebo and go through the door in the back and off we go so 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 okay yeah okay so i got your plan i'll make i'll make sure to for you to roll additional rolls as for now um uh, can is made to the palace let's meet for that squishy to the post office um so interestingly enough um so uh, Ken, I never told you about this, and I guess it's time for you to know. Uh, so, there is a banner or a flag for the Nordian Empire, and it's a greenish background with uh, a brown bear face looking to the side. Like, like the Californian Republic, but a bit less... Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. So... There's that. And you start to notice that there's a lot of different flags that you've never seen before. Uh, you recognize one immediately as the Platinum Seas. And they're not like like parading anywhere. They have like a specific, like either a house or a few houses nearby that have quite a few banners. And you see individuals that wear coloration similar to the to what you, you assume are people from that place. Uh, Squishy! Mm -hmm. Going and looking through the post offices, you see familiar colorations and the familiar uh, heraldry of your dad. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
um, of course, uh, let you see the, the Platinum Seas. And of course, uh, Rog. Rog. Yes? You see a banner of three lightnings. And, oh, yeah. and, and you know exactly who it is. And you're really confused why he is here. Is that the orc three three lightning? Three yes, lightning? Oh, that's no. his banner. You see, like a. What is he doing here? Exactly. Can uh, we just see the panic on your face? While you're <laughs> along? Uh, as as you also see, uh, everybody in graduate, you also see the familiar um, um, banners of cradle rocks or the coven rocks. And uh, comments that uh, have similar uh, style of um, banners, but different figures. Uh, there's at least like 20 factions in this place. Have some sort of peace. And can you know that these are not like, uh, like their civilian homes that they're taking? They're more like uh, taking the noble estates, I guess. For the diplomats and all that. And there's just a lot. So, uh, Electro just cool. So, yeah, Electro, you, you recognize everything from, like, uh, uh, envoys from the Trungmar city, from the Kingdom of Na, both the Mitral and the Silver Order, the Iron Order, the, the, the Bark Institute of, uh, Bluestone, uh, the, like, the uh, not just platinum seas groups but literally yeah. everything e every single co like every single major n faction in the world that has some sort of notoriety is here and has a, some small plot like the platinum seas has a nice little a small few buildings as a nice complex the fucking tree tree lightning has just a fucking three huts around in a campfire <laughs> and yeah it's it's fucking wild um so, uh, I think your country turns into more of a diplomatic hotspot than we originally expected. Oh, I think your country, Same, I I think mean... your country's becoming not a diplomatic hotspot, but a freaking net international. I don't know, what do you call those things again? A lot Assembly. <laughs> Assembly, there you go. Jeez. Oh, boy. No! I mean, it's only realistic. Uh, is here. Oh boy! So, sure, uh, yeah. who's gonna, who's gonna, who's gonna? Okay, so first of all, rock. Um, uh, there's plenty of places. Like, there's no marketplace, but there's like shops that sell goods, and there's plenty of people, like places that sell betting and cheating. So I say to basically refurbish every single like in, like. You want you want just like uh, what do you exactly you want? Just give me a list and tell you how much it will cost. Well, guys, uh, have fun with that. I'm gonna go shopping. Yeah. Uh, uh, so I'm uh, make one meal, make a list. Uh, yeah, yeah, just make a list. I'll notify you because let's just say you just gone on a shopping spree trying to get as much stuff. Uh, Squishy. Yeah. The post office is officially uh, closing down, and uh, there's like an old man <laughs> maybe in his sixties. <laughs> In his 60s, that looks a bit confused, just kind of squints his eyes, lifts up his glasses. Ah, oh, I guess one of you from the across the world, what can I do for you? You send this letter to my dad. The letter to your dad, eh? As he kind of saw us reading, and he kind of looks at you. Um, what's the address? I, does he have like the the seal of my yeah. dad on his? I mean, Point to that. <laughs> uh, I mean, I mean, I had never been there, but I mean, you could go and get uh, take it there. They probably know. We only deliver across this island. If your daddy is not on the island, I don't think we can make it to. Mm. That's a shit postal service. <laughs> it's not even global. It's the local branch, bro. Yeah, it's come, the local branch. come on. Are you gonna are you gonna batter like a whole man for this? Maybe. 
<laughs> Chuck and Brass name. Um, uh, and then I get an idea, and then I, um, uh, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna go to the jewelry store. Uh huh. And do what I told was to get like necklaces made with like little vials for the pendants. Yeah. Um. And get it for my party members. Mm -hmm. and then make something or like have them make like a collar for a okay. cup. So okay, so it also has a vial in it. Okay, so quick. It's uh, also a vial. Yeah. So quick question. Uh, just to put things short, if you want it made out of silver, it's gonna cost you five gold pieces per one. If from gold ten. I mean. I don't really care. <laughs> I want, like, the band to be, like, strong enough that, like, no matter what battle they're in, they're it's not gonna, like, snap off yeah. of them. So, yeah. Um, how many you want of these? Uh, so, let's see. One, two, three, four. And then the collar, so five. So, five, five so, 25 or 50 gold pieces. Or silver or gold. can do that <laughs> yeah it's up to you silver or gold um whichever's not gonna decay during weather like weather re resistant uh omnis you're omnis omnis you're you're the expert in this which one is more resistant i think silver silver oxides gold doesn't ah gold it is okay 50 gold feet uh yeah, 50 gold pieces so right okay. 50 gold pieces uh lecture um as you see most of the industry has shut down and you can get to reason to what sorry my mic was cut and was off there uh basically which one is more uh um adaptable to harsh weathers is it silver or gold gold's not gonna like tarnish weather. hardly ever yeah but gold all pure gold's also kind of uh weak so a mixture of gold and silver with a tiny bit of copper would make you a nice I mean, super resilient thing uh, yeah alloy to gold is like one of the best kinds of gold okay so um well, so yeah lecture looking for a let smith you can find one but uh they're not really unless you you got a specific request they don't really have a much of supply of any metals because all the mines that they had are basically dry because all they oh. can dig down is <laughs> fucking sand. Reasonable. Well, so, uh, so. Actually, in that case, I will uh, delay that until a further point. To a different lead smith on the mainland. Okay. It makes fine. sense since. It's not something. Uh, I'm in a rush. The, the the only metals they can use is I think the metal from the corpses that we kill. Then again, they'd have to reuse it if they want to make something new. Yeah. So, quick question, um, Ken. Uh, yes. You're making your way. It's the longest trip for you because it's like the furthest away from every single position. Um. Uh. You come across the position, the staircase that leads into the the grand halls, into the, I guess, um, the castle, the palace, and you are basically on the same footsteps where you went through the portal the first time with uh, Zana, all that time ago. Uh, and Trying there's to give a brief pause before moving. Yeah, <laughs> and you see, and you see, a, like quite a few soldiers of the king's royal guard who are standing there and some of them like do look like the some of them immediately recognize you as the hero Norn. some of you just refer to you as kin uh, so greetings ken how are you I'm doing all right. Just got back and I need to oh, see yeah. the Are, king. At... Do you do you have a do you have Lena with you? Yeah. Hmm. If she wants to come. Yeah, yes. she she would she would be very interesting. Also, uh, uh, the guards kind of 
a straight exchange some looks and looks at you as they see Lena. I'm guessing she's with me. Yeah, I guess she's like an ambassador or something, right? Just look, you could say that. <laughs> you 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 feel in somewhere in your like lower back there's a like a nail. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. We're we're way it's way more than that. <laughs> okay. So uh anyways, I I it is urgent that I need an audience with the king. One of them one of them chuckles, who doesn't to stays? Have you seen the shit show? As you as the, one of them just kinda like gives like a hand motion and you turn around and you see like you count like a, like twenty something banners of different colorations as the sun slowly starts to set uh, across the city. I did I did see. It's quite uh, impressive. But I do believe that this will require his immediate attention oh oh we cannot let you in i'm just saying there's a lot uh, there's even a very big queue even our high commander jonathan wants to get a word into with the king oh he is not happy about this entire situation anyways all right well thanks for the heads up Okay. I'll be on my way then. So, Can I go in? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, question. Question. <laughs> uh, so, just, just this is going to be a Ken's moment. So, if anybody has like one <coughs> final thing they want to do. Nope, I'm fine. I'm just uh, saying. Let him have his moment. I, ca I can't have uh, anything else right now. So. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I mean, you can always be more detailed about other people as well, Rog. It's not gonna be expensive. It's it's stuff. You, I'm yeah. sorry. What? You you, you just kind of gave me two things. If you want more stuff, so you don't forget the next time, you know, just double check the list in case. I mean, I'm I'm trying just those for now because I want to get the other things to be my own trophies of what I hunt. I mean, <laughs> you're you're asking for bad stuff anyway. So, give me a sec. I need to go, and I will be right back. Because is, is I just want to be able that I can yeah, be I'll, here I'll, this I'll whole time. So. Some water in a second. Give me yeah. A second. Be right back. I just wanted to ask if there was already a, like a a bed, a basic bed. Yeah. Okay. Like it's literally just the basic bunk bed. Like it's bigger than a bunk bed, but it's just simple and plain. Okay. Because. The only things I asked for was literally just big fancy fur for the bed and a fur rug with and a weapons rack. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, I'm gonna get the the other stuff myself. I want if if I want the rack of a majestic beast uh. to be killed, I'm gonna get that rack. Oh boy! And ah, I'm gonna hang out on the wall. Well, shit. A second. Um, so Any... Squishy mm -hmm. is uh, going to get alchemist tools and a book about how to use alchemist tools. Okay, so uh, that's going to be in total uh, 10 gold pieces additionally. Okay, so... And I'm back. Give me a second, I just need Herbalism, to check. Leatherwork, Smith, Carpenter, Mason. Just everybody double check, cause if I find that when the music changes, you you be quiet. Understood. Okay. I really don't. <laughs> chicken feed. Those chickens. You know what I'm gonna be working on for however. You know, yeah. That'll be bothering me for the you know, next few days. So. Until I see that the party is about ready to die, I'm a growing a gazebo. Okay, so give me a second. So in that case, so I'm just gonna grab a snack. Don't mind me. Hell yeah. So, Ken, the first thing you feel when you enter is a sudden change of light, a lot of bright electrical light, uh, the noises of. Uh, 
Music and celebration echoes in the air as the entire palace is under a festival of sorts. So, there's quite a lot of uh, guards of uh, Royal King Guards. There's quite a lot of people wearing their uh, affection associated uh, robes. And this is quite quite different uh, from what you used to. The last time you've seen so many nobles in the same place, or if they even nobles are, is at the coronation of uh, the king a few years ago. As you make your way, quite a few people uh, look, mostly guardsmen, some just outsiders, you don't know. There's, there's everyone from tabaxis, dwarves, even some... Uh, Genasi, Lycans, there's a lot of people here. You count at least a few dozen heads as you make your way towards, uh, I guess, the throne room. And there's plenty of places of like where people can get food, drinks. And in the throne room, there's the throne. Above it is the banner of Norn. And maybe... 20 feet from it there's like a a chamber not a chamber but like a circle of tables and a, a very comfortable chairs and behind the chairs the banners of each individual like respective uh faction as uh they're um uh, all the chairs are empty some of them are neatly tits uh like neatly uh plays back how they should some of them messy some of them look like like one of them has like a foot chair um yeah you see a lot of people but you don't see the king what would you like to do there's a lot of people in there yes like there's a lot of people there's like like servants you assume that you know just to tend to the people there's a lot of people like of different factions you don't know like you see orcs half orcs uh, elves dwarves all of different cultures and styles you've never seen or not even familiar to the parts you traveled in the world thus far uh yeah the whole palace is like full of this and the only chamber that is like not as full as the throne room i'm gonna grab i'm gonna catch the eye of a guard inter Guard and say, "Excuse me, but where does where is the king? It's very, very urgent that I see him immediately." Uh, you ask the closest one who like recognizes me, like because he sees the mark too. Don't know, haven't seen him all evening. He he's been busy. Like, look around. It's it's a whole mess. Is there anybody who would know where he is at this current moment? Oh. oh, God. I think half the building would really like to know where he is at the moment. I really don't know. All right. Thank you. If you guys, uh, if yes. you see, if you pass this around, if you see any sort of him, Pass this around to the all rest of the guards that they seem to notify me of where he is immediately. Because hey, DM, I am very impo a very important matters on hand. He kind of just gives a nod. Uh, and you just uh, see... Um, well, you look... I mean, what do you like to do? Because Lena ve looks very comfortable with this and just clutches to you closer. <laughs> Hey, Very uncomfortable. What? Where's the king? Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. You know exactly. No, no, no! Where... Don't tell them. Tell me in oh. DMs. All right. I'm gonna... You could have DM me that, but okay. So. I know, but then it wouldn't have cost so much. You know. Fair. They would be like, oh, fair, 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 fair. So, Ken, what would you like to do? Um, I'm going to, with 
with Lena. It's like, oh, at least while we wait, might as well look about. So we're going to do a quick look about the whole palace that is not restricted to any anyone or anything first. Okay. Well, there's a lot of people. There's a lot of individuals. Roll me perception. With advantage, because you have the fucking goggles. Natural 20 for 29. Yeah. I mean... Okay, I'm back. Oh, boy. Uh, you see... You see quite a lot of pattern. Like, here's the thing. There's some places where there's a lot of drinking, a lot of smoking, a lot of just talking. And there's a place where a lot of dancing ensues. And it's a grand ball. A lot of people are just dancing with their partners. Uh, and you recognize immediately Xanon blip on the floor as well. As well as uh, one of... Uh, remember remember how Omnius told you about uh, the, the girl that uh, the king was fucking. Well, she is currently dancing with one another person from the Platinum Seas on the floor as well. Goddamn cheaters. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, you also, you 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 see there's a, like a small squad of like six or seven royal guardsmen who there look like you know just on alert, but also in the middle you see. The old man, the the actual high general of Dorian M, uh, uh, Dor Norni Dornian Empire, Norian, fuck, Norian uh, Kingdom, and the leader of the Royal King's Guard, the one who recruits and handpickly selects every single one person, High Commander Jonathan. Who's like looking at the ball and he's like eyeing every single individual, looking. What's like, like, like he's looking like just standing there, but also looking like he's looking for someone specific. I'm going to Jonathan hmm. first with Lena's type, making sure Lena's with me. I'm going as soon as I get up to him and in catch his eye, I'm going to salute him. He kind of nods back. Report soldier, and he kind of eyes finance. Oh, the new recruit, the recruit I didn't chose, Kenjin. He kind of yeah. squint. Uh, troubled times require troubled people, and you will suffice. So tell me, soldier, what is it? Oh, I've just gotten back into town with some. Urgent, urgent dealings that need to be addressed with the king immediately. And I'm trying, I, we're trying to find him. Any idea of where he may be, it is very urgent. He starts shaking his head. We're also looking at this. It's fine when uh, it's a uh, low profile, usual everyday schedule where when the king just goes on his private time. But this is... A security risk. We cannot uh, risk him going somewhere that he shouldn't or God forbid assassinated. He kind of takes a deep sigh. Uh, uh, we looked all all the surrounding areas. Nobody uh, exited or entered this classic fights of time except for you mere minutes ago. I see. As I look over to the one elf lady, it's like, hmm. have you, has there been any sort of questioning done with anybody yet? This this whole circus is very drying my nerves. We fought for this nation to keep it independent, and so now look at this. He kind of just kind of looks at all the surrounding people with the sneer. To just kind of divide and gobble up everything and nor will be no more hmm. that's definitely an interesting thing 
Uh, we'll have to discuss that with discuss that with the King of Able Two at one point. But unless you know exactly what's going on, it seems like it's more of uh, everybody's coming together to try and get a boy out of this land, uh, out of our great land. You, you see him taking a sigh, but there's very, uh, like, a uh, heavy tone of frustration. They're not coming here for the people. They're coming for the knowledge we know. And they don't care about the fate of us. They all the care that we brought in. And then once that is over, they're just going to live. let us here to die. First came the Platinum Seas, but which he kind of he kind of grips his hand a bit. And there's, like, a bit of... <laughs> There's a bit of a grit in his teeth, which did assist us with f living. But now, all of this, to how many people we need to be subservient. Are the Platinum, is the Platinum Steez still a, considered an ally? Have they s continued to help us, or has they gone back into, this, into the bureaucracy of things? They're still helping us, but... It doesn't you don't need to even be half uh, coherent to understand what it's going. Everything they're doing is for something long term. And once they acquire something, they're just going to leave us. Or even worse. I tried to warn our king multiple times. Well, that's definitely an interesting position that we are in. Well, uh, so, uh, so interesting. Uh, roll my perception check, Lecter. Not Lecter. Uh, Ken. Twenty-one. Okay. Uh, you, you start to see one of the light bulbs start to crackle, like just kind of flash for a moment. Uh, and you look up, and you see a trail of electricity on one of the wires. You remember this 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 kind of thing before? What do I remember it being? You remember when Kalia scrubbed off the falchion? Electricity started pouring from it, and from it manifested a being that you know as Prophet Matthew. Okay. All right. As soon as it got, as soon as it got your attention, it started going from chandelier to chandelier. Uh, just tiny spark of light what are you gonna do i'm going to say oh thank you for your time i will try if you see anything or if you find them out of the king let me know and i will keep an eye out for him as well note it and keep then it. i uh link link arms with lena again and it's like come on yeah she is goes there, hey, sir. I I, lo I I I make the quick jerk of my head up towards where I want, want her to see the little electric city. You see if she sees it, and then we're just gonna follow it. Yeah. So. So. Question, Omnius. Do you want to deal with this here, or is this a? Uh... Hey, I'm just saying it's gonna be it's gonna be quite interesting. As Ken. Okay. From from spark to spark, you come back to the old uh, to the throne room, which is like has a few people, and you uh, the spark goes like uh, next to the light that is planted into a door, and the spark just kind of vanishes.
I'm going to go over to the door and see if anybody starts getting, like, as uh, no, curious as I get. Everybody's minding their own business. Alright, I'm going to try and open the door. The door really opens. Okay. Uh, what do I see inside? It is, uh, it is, uh, what's it called? Uh, a loopy thing. What's it called? Uh, a stairway up in a loop. A spiral circle, staircase? Yeah. yeah, spiral staircase. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. I'm gonna go. We're gonna go up it. Okay. So, uh, eventually you come just across just a dead end, and suddenly just the, everything stops, and suddenly a sudden spark of light happens, and you start to hear. Some bricks getting moved, and suddenly a click as uh, the dead end suddenly opens up. And the first thing you see is a balcony. So, okay. Okay. so uh, on the other side of the balcony. Uh, oh, well, by the balcony. You see your king overlooking uh, the slowly fading sun to the west. Having a glass of wine overlooking the thing. Eh, he just kind of chills, mind his own business. Of course, looks over when he hears the, hears the you stepping in. He says, ah, didn't know that you were uh, capable of uh, engineer, usually. Uh, learned a few things while out on, well, out among the sea. And I give up, and I do my, the traditional Nordian bow for him. Ah, uh, uh, been a bit a while. As you can see, a lot has changed in this uh, vicinity. So, how about you? And uh, he kind of looks at Lena, but then looks back at you. Um, yes. There has been a lot of change. We've lost a few, and I lost a few people in our adventures, as well as seen quite a few things that are both enchanting and yet terrifying out there. Hmm. Um, and, and Lynn just kind of stands by like the staircase and she's like, should I? Get... Nah. And then the uh, King George is like, no, 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 you can stay. This is a, I guess between three of us, it's fine. A few more would be a company. Um, so... How is the world outside this island of ours? Uh, it is odd to say the least, especially with apparently this whole area out at sea is a wonderful a breeding ground for appearing, uh, appearing and disappearing islands to begin with. I've seen a great many things, both things that are well behind the times and also well more advanced than even ours, our technology. Oh, is that so? Indeed. We've even brought some, some of that technology here. Uh, any other news that you like to discuss? I am meaning to ask what is going on with all of this around here. And as I point to like the different down to the streets with the different banners and all that stuff. Well, as you can see, the uh, 
the world outside this island has acknowledged our presence and come here to share the bounty of our technological progress. Oh, Enemy rivals from. become friends and cutthroats become great opponents. Oh yeah, it's 20 minute tracks, my bad. Give me a second. Sure. So. But yeah. It is. And what are we getting out of return for for this? Well, some some people offer favors, some offer land in their kingdoms or empires. Some offer alliances, some offer trade. Ah. He kind of scratches and his head. And some offer something more intimate. I assume. He kind of, he kind of looks blank at you. Oh, Lockie, what do you mean? You know, never mind. It's not important now. Just, As he just, yeah, it's like he kind of shrugs slightly. Uh, yeah, whatever. As for um, is, what does it kind of say? So, are you trying to? Are we? So, if I'm going about these different places, making, representing North. I would like to know a bit more about what our political end game is here. Uh, well, here here's the kicker. Here's the here's the here's the dreadful poison that nobody wants to swallow. This place is doomed. Lorne is technically no more. Yes, we got the buildings. But what are our buildings without supplies? We don't have any coal, we don't have any iron, we don't have any copper, any tin, or any uh, near needful essentials uh, to maintain survival at this point. And it be kind of scratches his head with frustration. Uh, the High Commander uh, thinks that we can just rise up in arms and just wait another civil war, but against who? Everybody? Those who helped us uh, not die by that demented Victor character? Yes, I agree. That's not exactly the wisest thing. I've seen, even just with my own, the own company I'm with, I've seen what they are capable of, and it terrifies me. So. So. And we're not offering. And as far as the trade goes, of what is importing raw materials and exporting goods out of the question. Mostly, yes, because our goods are luxury goods that this world doesn't really need because it's not developed. All they really need is the second blueprints uh, for their own advancements in society. It's not like they're going to take long for before they can figure it out on their own. This, we, this we, is true. Put it in the hands of people who know who to do do it, and they'll be easy to replicate. The choice is pretty simple. Do I ally myself with the Empire? And become one additional pawn in their everlasting glory? Do I join the Coalition and uh, maintain monarchy as a fictional title while their subsidiaries run this place? I'm not even talking about the United Party. They're just jack. They're 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 brutal. There's not much solutions, because 
the people will eventually just flee. This place is not safe for any civilians. This is a hot zone for terror. Hmm. Kind of. So seems like this has been eating you for quite a while. Uh, it has. The bottom seas offer almost nothing except protection. The Empire offers permanent land, so do the Coalition. The rest are offering imports and all that. We got the silent, but the silent has barely nothing. All I have to announce with a heavy heart that we'll have to move as a country in order to maintain a country he kind of just sits in one of the chairs and just kind of looks at you unless you've got some sort of interesting solution some alternative that you might find out in this interesting islands get out of he said something out interesting yeah. on the island yeah, have you, have you, he's basically saying that he's probably either gonna go to the Empire or the Coalition, unless you got some sort of alternative that you figured out. Not quite sure what the correct answer is. All I know is that this whole world has been at each other's throats, no different than we have been with back at all world. Oh boy. There's some bigger oh things boy, at work here that, that even I don't understand. So. And as in, in my travels, I've been trying to do whatever can it is for the non Nornian Empire itself and to further its mainstay as some uh, nation in this world that is looked upon with respect and dignity. I even have a boat full of technology from some far off world in a far off future where seeing things that only all mechanics have only ever dreamed about. And I brought it all here so that we can make our mark upon this world. I can't tell you who we should side with. All I know is that whatever we do is going to have a ripple effect in this world's history. Whether it be for good or for bad. Ultimately, the decision's not up to me, but of who we side on. I can only give you my opinion. That was very well spoken. Okay, okay, let's see. Okay, there is a reason why he's the deployment. Someone was at the door in the middle of the night. Ha! And he missed it. What, what happened? Ken literally just made a pretty good political um, argument and speech. Like... He missed it? He's serious? Mm -hmm. Oh, for fuck's sake. That... I, so, I told you that I'm gonna go for a second. 
Didn't hear it. You didn't. Didn't hear it. Fuck. Oh, dude, you can't. That was beautiful and you missed it. So what's the TLDR? <clears throat> Ken. Also, I think you can give it he's short. thinking. Basically, it was I don't have the solution to it. I can give you my opinion, but it's ultimately up to you. But everything I've done outside has been for the furtherment and betterment of the Nornian Empire to make its name stay. And basically, what and what I do know is that. Our cho that the choice of who we decide to side with, if we decide with, will indeed have a ripple effect throughout the history of this world, whether it be for good or for ill. But you said it so much better, and you missed it. Oh boy. Ah. And he kind of looks tired and exhausted, and just kind of slumps to the chair. So. He kind of gives one hand, like, le uh, he kind of extends his both hands. We got the Empire. They offer, uh, uh, offer land, and of course this land, in order of, to fealty to an Emperor. Or do we have a coalition that offers themselves land, rights, and all that, including much better infrastructure as far as they told. But I will no longer be truly a king, only a pawn. Satin side, no one is badass. Uh, to be honest, those both have both the advantages and disadvantages. And choosing one side would, in fact, make us essentially not as not favorable in the eyes of the, uh, the other. That is definitely a difficult choice. As being as how even our earliest ally is a part of said empire but mostly allied in association but not exactly the empire itself and to be honest i'm not exactly inclined to be following with the empire Uh, I've heard the stories of what's what they've done in their past and some of that is not 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 good or pretty uh Lena approaches at this point and can please roll me a perception uh if I'm uh, if I get uh, uh, say and King just kind of gives a nod, think of the Empire as the oppressors, while the Coalition as the oppressed. The Empire has many subjects and they live lavishly, but any moment, any second, if the Emperor dislikes what you're doing. Your whole birthright, no matter if it's a few years or a few millennia old, will be cut and forgotten forever. And your lands will be distributed, your uh, loot will be displaced, and nobody will remember your name in the matter of decades. Well, as for the coalitions, they are oppressed by the masses whatever land you might give if you will treat them rightly 
they will celebrate your name in the streets treat them poorly and they will see you hanged in those same streets So, 22. Mm, it is a 22. Oh, boy. Uh, so, as we look through, like, as you're having this discussion, when I said this discussion, you see, like, you know how there's a shimmer of heat in the hot days of summer? You see, like, a yeah. slight shimmer of uh, heat traveling through the balcony from like one side like from below above and slowly going towards the king what would you like to do what is am i seeing i uh, like a small sliver like a small pocket of like heat traveling it looks so natural but what isn't what is natural this day and age eh? Wait a sec here. Bam, bam, bam. Trying to figure out what's going on. <laughs> And it's going towards it from behind him? No, 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 no. Uh, basically, imagine like you're on like I mean, maybe six, seven feet apart from the king and Lena's between. And you see like from like uh, from below the balcony on one of the rails, there's sliver of heat is coming up and it's going towards uh, the king. going on Ken soon. Yeah, yeah, Ken, Ken, waiting for Ken. I mean, in fairness, I think he's got a, he's got a little to process right now. Yeah. Yeah, that was a great speech, by the way. Like, Araxis, you're gonna have to go back and watch the stream after yeah. the fact yeah, and I'll listen to that. Part. Notify, I'll notify. Uh, also. Did we just hear something about a slither of heat approaching the king? Yes. From the balcony. From, but like, basically imagine if the balcony is like high and you just see like up the balcony from below just starts like this small little sliver of heat approaching. And... Oh no, the castle's on fire. No, no, like, like, it's like, that easy. like a small pocket of, <clears throat> of heat just kind of... Are you talking about like As when the I... air shimmers when something's hot? Yeah, pretty much. But it's like traversing like up up the balcony and then uh, on the balcony towards the king. Okay, so that something's approaching the king and it's basically magic. I'm going to put myself in the way of it. And if it gets closer and looks like it's about to harm. Oh, wait, no. I'll catch instant cast. Detect magic. Uh, you immediately see a spider entity masked by illusion magic. And it's getting out, heading towards the king. A few feet away, what would you like to do? Uh, try and squash it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, with what? Um, that's a good I, That's a good question. <laughs> Just, just whip out your fuck. Just you whip out. Black tip uh, that fucking thing. <laughs> the balcony is gone as well. As much as I would like to, probably not a good idea. 
If you want the balcony, the king, and everyone else in a rough area to survive, I would not recommend. I'm Just going to. Hmm? Hold doing? on, I or need to think of how I'm sword. going to try and do this. You have magic sword. But was it a, was it equipped at the time? Like. Are you just standing there, armed in front of like? Hold on, I want to. You have your devil sight goggles on, right? You or no, not the devil. You had your your scope on. You have your your Mark II. I have my Mark II. I also have my my staff. So I would probably be. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you from experience, by the way, if you hit a spider that's sitting on an anvil, it's a bad time. I did that once. Don't hit a spider on an anvil with a hammer. You get a perfect disc of spider splat. <laughs> What? That's good to know. A disc spider. Now that's. I did that once. It was. Yeah. Oh, hold on. I might have something interesting that I could do. It was a hot hammer at the time, too, so it was. A hundred ways to kill a spider. <laughs> Let yeah, me just. No, this is. This is fucking. Whoa. Okay, what are you gonna do? Depends on if the spell does what I can't. What I want it to do. Just tell the king what to the fuck? <laughs> well, that's also a good idea. Shit! Watch out, there's something! You know? Just... Instead of just shooting... What the shit? The <laughs> America, gun! Wait, you don't have a pistol, do you? <laughs> oh my God. I'm not gonna discharge a firearm with the king and have then, the whole freaking Rose castle come after and say, what the fuck is Oh it my is. God! Yeah, yeah, no, 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 just... just... Just tell him to fucking move. There's, there's, there's a magic spider. <laughs> Easiest solution. But that's not the American solution. <laughs> Go! I mean, American? Get a Glock out. <laughs> Get <laughs> a Glock out and shoot it. <laughs> Glockamole, motherfucker. Never mind. Oh, well, I just was going to try and use Mei Chan to squash that motherfucker, but I guess yeah. not. Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Wait a second. You just tried Mage Hand. You can't attack with Mage Hand. I know, I just read that. That's why okay. I was asking, was so, saying, shit. please. Um, I'm going to... You're about to squish somebody's familiar. <laughs> I'm going to, at the moment, I'm going to put my hand on him. It's like, we're not alone, and I'm going to guide <laughs> him off his chair while at the same time try and do... Um, so what are you going to do? Dispel magic, see if that works. Uh, well... Uh, roll, me intel dispel roll, me, roll me intelligence check. Okay. I can only see him with the hand in front of him like he's trying to use the force on an empty space. You, the Schwartz spider. Uh, Not, no. Nothing happens, and as soon as you start moving the king, the spider just suddenly quickens and goes full, full speed. All right, bringing out the piss, uh, bringing <laughs> out the pistol. <laughs> I'm saying he had it in there. Roll me dexterity check. Dexter, dex, dexterity DC 15. Dexterity check. DC. Does you mean saving throw? No, 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 or no. Check, check, check. check. Oh, please check that. Please check the that. Shit. Please check that. Not one. But no, don't oh, no. It, you ass. Oh, 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 oh my Chad god. Boy. You you basically fucking see the fucking thing leap and you get this nice purplish glow so you know where to hit. You just whip out, you fucking like basically back the king for a second and just fucking like hip fire the thing and you you just basically blow half of the spider off and the illusion magic fades. The first thing you realize, Ken, this spider is fucking messed up. It 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 ha has the resemblance of Zagratus corruption and is now just screeching in agony. Ugh. As it as it slowly fades into sh into ash and just dissipates. Uh <laughs> I turn I turn Why? towards the king's side. I think it's time you regroup with your uh, with your gods. Yeah. Uh, 
Oh, yes, yes, quiet. As he oh, fucking oh, bailed. Shit. He bailed from the I'm mistress. going with him, but keeping just keeping a weather eye. Now, instead of my pistol, I have a Mark II rifle. Out, yeah. My Mark II out. Just keeping a weather eye out for anything like that or something like that that would so, come to harm. You you basically, you basically, as, yeah, as, as you do that, you also see fucking Lana draw her fucking daggers out. As the king actually makes the way to or down the corridor, and he is met halfway by the king guard who heard shots, and he's like yelling, "Get, get, get, get away!" <laughs> trying to pass. As you all follow him back to the throne room, quite a few guards are alerted, and you see uh, High Commander Jonathan just like approach with a bunch of guards who are like. And motioning towards the tunnel to basically secure the area, and uh, and of course he asked what was Say wrong. Fucking good job, Ken. Oh my God. Yeah, yeah fucking good job. Yeah. Let's just say I'm that fine. there's something that I've seen before is not exactly the most welcome of guests. Keep an eye out for anything small, fast. Or looks like there's some sort of something wrong with them, like a corruption in their very being and physicality. Hmm. Now the question is, how many guards are guarding? Uh, the surrounding vicinity, or what? Oh, him, the king. Ah, uh, about about six kings, guardmen, and more are coming. So, Sorry about that. hmm. All right. Well, yeah, I'm just gonna stay close to close to the king, just to make sure everything's better. <laughs> everything's all right. So. Whatever they're doing, I'm going to be following with them. You know? Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Uh, of course, uh, double checks. Uh, and, uh... Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Uh... How do I say this? Uh, the king is basically being told to basically go to one of the safe rooms in the castle. And he sees the bunch of guests who are like, like you know, watching and looking. And he kind of lets go of all the soldiers. And he grabs one of the glasses and he walks towards the dancing ball. Um, and kind of gives the, you know, the spoon on the glass fucking signal that, you know person would like to speak. Ding, 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 ding. Damn. Uh, 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 dear guests, as the owner and rightful ruler of this island, I hereby decree that I swear my allegiance to the coalition. If you got any more questions, they will not be answered as he kind of just fucking smashes the glass in front of him and walks away. Good night, all. And with that. And, and with that, I'm Mike saying we're gonna call. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, I'm gonna say we're gonna call it because it's like past midnight. So, if you got anything to say, 15 seconds, go. Holy guacamole! Fucking diplomacy, holy hell. Diplomacy for the win, baby! I love you, kitchen gun! <laughs> I love you, kitchen, <laughs> kitchen gun. Uh, Iraxis, I got a, I got a question. Uh huh. What is. Is Trugmar with the coalition? Or is that something no. else? No, no, Trugmar. Uh, Trugmar is just on its own. It's a separate Fair power enough. entirely. So, yeah. No allies? No.